Hello, hello, and welcome back to New World. Picking up uh, on a roof. Yeah, and uh, seems like my shoes are a little bit uh, stuck. Yeah. <laughs> so, hello, how you doing? Um, yeah, it's the next morning for me, although it's almost midday, actually. I, I don't know how I manage these things sometimes, but yeah, I didn't actually end up getting to play again last night. Um, although that, that, that had uh, there's a couple of things, so uh, we're probably just going to be chilling here for a minute. Uh, hopefully you can indulge me in my rambles, both about that and a few game things. Um, yeah, I got a couple of notes here. I just want to cover a few things. Uh, but yes, I climbed up on this, um, so let's start with this. Interestingly, you can't actually walk around the roofs. Uh, this is it. Like this little strip here, this is it. Uh, for some reason, yeah, which I, I think is a little disappointing considering that you can climb in this game. But yeah, the, the climbing is... Um, right, so... <laughs> Uh, last night, I did actually play some more, but I didn't do any quests or anything like that. I was basically in this town the whole time. Um, and one of the things I ended up doing was jumping around a lot and actually playing around with this, which we might do a little more of. Um, but yeah, so even this roof here, right, that I'm on, you aren't meant to be able to get even on that. Uh, you have to do like a really awkward little jump here that will put you onto the roof. And it's like, it's, it's awkward, but it's not that difficult. Just kind of go at an angle. Actually, it's more difficult this time than previously. Uh, yeah, there we go. So it's like that, and then you can run up. <laughs> Which, uh, you can actually get a pretty almost nice view. Like, it's kind of a, you know, kind of cool. Um, but the main thing, yes, I said I found interesting was the fact that, yeah, you can't actually, you know. Um, but so, let's see, where do I begin? So, after playing the last part, right, um, I ended up opening the game again... It was, it was within an hour of stopping, and I just wanted to see what would actually happen if I rendered while playing this. I mean, I didn't think I'd be able to record, play, and render. That that would seem a little extreme, but I was curious how that would go. And what did I find myself with? Uh, I ended up in a queue of 1,500 people, which was just crazy. And the queue timer is absolutely busted. This is not correct at all. Um... It, I was literally see. it said when I got into it first it was like 1500 people and it was an estimated 30 minute time at best it went down to 28 minutes and then back up to 30 and then it spanned 28 to 30 minutes for over 30 minutes so if you are playing this and you get stuck in a queue go by the numbers see how much they go down within 5-10 minutes and then you know make an estimate because that's the only way you're going to get an accurate time um, but also I found that I after I got in after, I think it ended up being, it must have been nearly an hour. I got back in, right? And then I had to go do something. I wasn't away long, but apparently I was away long enough to hit the AFK timer, which kicks you fully out to the character screen, which apparently is, you know, before the queue. So I hadn't even got to play, um, and I got stuck back into a 1400 person queue, repeating the same thing again. Yeah, so after that I was thinking, you know what, um, I might just chill for a while, do some um, grinding myself. Nothing quest related or anything like that, but and uh, not grinding, uh, I mean gathering and, well, that kind of grinding, but I didn't mean combat. Um, I thought I could just gather a bunch of stone, logs, um, just I thought it'd be a good side thing. But then, and this comes to other things, um, I, I recently learned two things, which I could have obviously checked first, but I didn't, because I wanted to just jump into this kind of blind, but... Yeah, so I now know that the closed beta stuff here does get wiped. Um, so that sort of pushed me away from actually doing that grinding I was talking about that seemed a little pointless because I was thinking in the long term, like no reason to not dig into the skills a bit. Um, but yeah, so it does in fact get wiped at the end of the beta, which again, that makes a bit of sense to me. I just didn't know. Um, and I was less sure about that fact because I thought, and this comes to something else I learned, um, the release date is August 31st, which I feel like I already knew that. At some point, I, I definitely had seen that, but for some reason, I also thought that um, that the game was releasing like as soon as the beta was over. But no, that's that's not correct. The beta finishes up on August second, and I guess then it wipes, and then the full release yeah on the thirty first. So they're actually a bit of a gap, not not a huge one, obviously, but yeah, it's sort of an odd thing that because you, I mean, it feels like they've only given themselves enough time to fix like you know the worst of the worst, like. A month is not enough time to rework anything. It's enough time to patch bugs and test and, you know. So, yeah, I was a bit, I don't know. Uh, also, I didn't notice this when we were playing too. 
you get like a, just a blank silhouette when you go in front of things with your character. It's kind of weird. Yeah, just another little thing I noticed. Um, what else, what else? So, I think those are the main things that I learned. Oh no, uh, another thing that I learned, um, is that apparently the starting zones are actually randomized and there's four of them. I, I think four. I'm, I'm, I'm less, I'm not 100% on the four, but I am 100% on the random. Uh, cause yeah, apparently a lot of people have had trouble playing with friends because they just, you know, they, they, people were describing literally being on the other side of the map from each other. So, I assume with something like this, it's possibly like that one might be a start or... Yeah, but, but also, the, the idea that four of these are start areas, it's sort of making me think this map is not as big as I was thinking it was. Um, which is a little concerning, I don't know. It does look like, based on this, there are plans, like, that, to extend, because they don't have them around here. And that sort of reminds me how Black Desert was. You sort of, like, when that started, you had, like, a map, say it was this big, but then you had like this massive area that was like lined out and it's, it's been slowly filled in over time. It's getting bigger and bigger. So, you know, looking at the start of it isn't necessarily like, oh, this is shit or something, but it's definitely sort of changed my view of what we do have here a bit, um, thinking that four of these are start areas. And, and that sort of leads into a, a few other things I just wanted to sort of um, talk about a little here. Um, maybe we'll, um, maybe we can chop a couple of trees or something while I'm talking here. We can still use them for something. Um, so it's, it's not too many things, I'm not going to ramble forever, well, well, we'll see on that, I don't want to hold myself to that. Um, oh, actually, before we, before we go here, so what do we got here, um, there was a couple things in town. Um, oh, okay, so I guess the general thing that comes from this, I've just been thinking about this more, like last night I sort of ended up thinking about this more and sort of stepping back a bit and reflecting on what I've actually seen and all that kind of stuff, and I think definitely, and I think I did touch on it, but... I think it's definitely fair to say this is an MMO, however it started or whatever it was going to be, at this point, it's definitely an MMO that's following more along as a BDO, uh, Black Desert Online type of MMO, as opposed to something like Final Fantasy or um, World of Warcraft, you know? And, and I mean, even like, Final Fantasy and World of Warcraft, they, they have their differences, obviously, clearly. Um, some fundamental ones, but I think in terms of how they are, they're, they're, they have a lot more in common together sort of in the same way that this and Black Desert has more in common together than, you know what I mean? Um, which is not a bad thing, for me at least. Um, I know some people, you know, BDO, that type of thing, it's just not their type of MMO. People like, there's a lot of people who definitely prefer the more World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy style in certain ways. Um, so even though they have big differences, I think, I guess we, are they both, I guess you both call them theme park MMOs? Would that be, I don't know if that's the correct way to put it. Um, but yeah, this definitely seems to be gearing more towards being a PvP sandbox MMO. Although it feels like they didn't push far enough on the PvP side, which is, a, I think, a mistake Black Desert also made. It went sort of PvP sandbox, but then slowly sort of kept grinding the edges of the PvP. And it feels like in this one, if that is what they're doing here, it seems like it would be better to be full world PvP, not a flagging thing. Or at least PvP servers or something. And, and I say that as someone who doesn't actually like that. Like, I mean... Uh, no, I should rephrase that. I like um, playing a game with open world PvP, but I don't get into it. Like, I'm not into that at all, you know? Um, like, that was with Black Desert. Um, I'm more than happy if we could, you know, like, I'm more than happy with how that's set up. Um, oh, I'd prefer it to be more, more leaning into it, actually. There's, there's too much punishment for the stuff, but, you know, like, I'm more than happy to have all that risk and stuff. Like, to me, it's just a matter of I have to evaluate the risk and figure my way out in this living world, you know? If I don't want to engage in the combat, if I'm not into that, that's on me, and I have to deal with that, and I, like, I enjoy that side of it, you know? Um, but it seems like in this, they're, like, they're sort of trying to pull in between or something, and I don't know how that's going to go. There's part of me that feels like people are going to play more and more of this, and they're going to be like, hmm, this feels a lot like Black Desert, except with less stuff, or something. I don't know, like, I don't know enough about this to say for sure yet on everything, but... I don't know, really stepping back and sort of looking at things, it does feel a lot more like that. And I think, um, and part of that is like, it doesn't feel like we actually have much of a story going. Like, thinking about what the quests we've done so far, which isn't a lot, but it, they feel more, like, functional, you know? Like, there's just going to be quests for the sake of quests and areas, and they'll relate to the area, but we're not really going to get an overarching story, which, Although, I mean, Black Desert does have a story, but you could almost call it that, because it's so hard to follow the story. They've improved it a lot, to be fair, but it was kind of a mess originally. Um, 
But even though, like, I think Blood does definitely further ahead in that way, but it sort of still reminds me of it, you know? You because even though Black Desert has the story and there is a lot more lore and stuff going on, most people skip it, basically, for better or worse. Um, whereas in this, though, it feels like it's a lot less of that. You know, there is less quests around. And when comparing to BDO, there is less lore and story that we've seen so far from around here. Um, you know, like, if this was Black Desert, for example, there would be NPCs around here. Like, you know, this is the middle space, you know, tra uh, trading and you got a fountain and nice little sort of community area here there would be npcs walking around and stuff you know it, it would feel more like a live town so i don't know as, as much as I'm, I'm there is a lot of things i like in this I, I just can't help but be aware of this stuff when i really started thinking about it a bit more um yeah we, we just sort of just in general i'm i guess uh, like I, I guess what i'm saying can be summarized so that I'm, I'm generally concerned about the amount of pv content actually in this game um but but i do i think it's also important to like you need to be able to step yourself back and recognize this is the start of an MMO. Comparing it to Black Desert now, five, six years in, you know, that, that's not exactly the way to go about it, but you still have to, I think it's still fair to compare because, I mean, there are options to play games, so it's not like, you know, but it's still important to remember how far MMOs come. So if we're talking about a steady stream of updates and content expansion, then this is not a bad thing. But I, I honestly get the impression this game needed more time. Because um, the NPC stuff was one I touched on, but it's become more and more. Like, I keep getting stuck on it because it's... You, there should be NPCs walking around here. This should be more lively and... You know, I, I don't know. Uh, also, I, and I don't know if I mentioned this, but I, I don't think this game doesn't have mounts. Uh, there's another thing. So, we, we had that journal entry thing we read. Uh, what was that? Um, the animals revolt? Yeah, yeah, this one. Please remember there are no beasts of burden on Eternum. Yeah, and all that, so... And, and this does, like, it, this isn't just a thing. Like, as far as I, I understand now, there is actually no mounts in this game. So, the, yeah, I, I feel very mixed on that just because... Like, you can give an in-game reason for it, but mounts are fun. People like mounts, you know? They, they have, obviously, a huge functional purpose for travel. And I definitely prefer that. Like, that's that's one thing I... It, it was, it's was it been a mixed thing, but ultimately something I ended up loving with Black Desert was the fact they avoided fast travel. Because I know the Black Desert world inside now. I, I really do. Like, it, it's crazy how well I know the game world to me. Like, on a personal level. Like, cause I, if I go in my head, I can go around the whole thing. Literally all of it. Except the most recent territory, actually. But, like, all of it. Like, I, I know the whole thing, basically. Because I've been around it over and over and over again, and I, I really love that. Like, getting to know the world, it, it makes it so much better. Um, not that, that you can't have both, like, I think. That's, it's not to say you need to go full that way, but in this, it seems like we're stuck, basically, with general teleport recalling. And that makes it seem like when there's no mounts and walking, running isn't exactly that fast... It's not going to take but, like, maybe a month or two before basically all players just go boom, 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 boom. Like, that's all you do. You just you just bounce from one place to the other without ever really walking anywhere. And that, that just seems kind of unfortunate, you know? Again, it's not to say that's abnormal for an MMO. I'm, I'm not saying this is, like, this isn't meant to be a huge point of criticism. I'm just sort of speaking generally about my own feelings on fast travel, I suppose, and immersion and stuff. Because um, I feel like, I don't know, um... I guess Final Fantasy XIV is probably the good example for this one, where um, you can just walk around, travel, you got mounts, you can sort of do what you want, but then you do also have the Aether system, the Aethernet system, so, you know, um, I feel like this is more, it's just the Aethernet system sort of thing, but I also sort of like the Aethernet thing, because they, they made it sort of integrate with the world and stuff, as opposed to this. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'm just, uh, yeah... I don't know, I, I just I was thinking about a lot of things, but let's let's leave that there for now. Um what else was there? Oh, alright, just l jumping jumping to something else. Uh I managed to go through a wall, so I, I thought I would show that. Yeah, for some reason this wall here, it doesn't uh doesn't work so well. Watch look at this. Uh wait, whoops. Wait, does it go through the corner? No. Okay, yeah, so here, you can just walk straight you can go through the wall. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> yeah, no fancy trick to it or anything, you can literally just go through the wall for some reason. Not sure why that is. Uh, I don't know if you can go back through that. I did not try. Oh, you can. <laughs> okay. Yes, you can. Yeah. 
Okay, so that was another thing. Um, I also managed to get stuck. Same, same building too. Uh, down in here. I literally got stuck like down in there. It was super awkward and yeah. So this building is kind of janky. <laughs> but yes, you can, you can absolutely get stuck down in there, which I had to use, um, I had to use unstuck. Which just did a teleport out. It, um, I mean, it didn't, um, it did a recall, basically. I just ended up over there. Uh, yeah. So, that was interesting, though. Um, but that was sort of also coming around to the fact that this world feels a bit clunky. Um, I feel like the environment is not as polished as it should be. And that's sort of, like, this, like, what is this jump, man? It, it feels like it was a, it, it, it just, it's ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, how do we, like, how are you meant to have a... I don't know what else to say. It's ridiculous. This is not a jump. Nobody jumps like that. Nobody... Like, what is this? Um, but also, so... You've got this ability to climb and stuff, yet it doesn't seem to mesh in well. So, see here, for example, right? This was another thing I climbed up on um, last night. I, I was standing on that barrel for quite a while for some reason. Um, but you seem to do this. This looks pretty simple, right? This game has a climbing system. There's a thing right there. No. It, you are not meant to be able to get up on top of this. It is very difficult. Um, if, if you hit the sweet spot, you probably go there immediately. And you, I'm sure you could master it or whatever. But, like, this is not, like... You can't just... You end up doing that, and you can't actually, like, directly climb it. The only way you get up here is if you awkwardly do a jump that lands you half in here, and then you can get onto the barrel. But, like, it's not... It's not an exact thing. Like, you could... You can... Oh, wow, that doesn't often happen. Holy shit. I've, I've done this a bunch of times because I was trying to figure things out. I did not once actually land on this like this. You almost always slide off. Because look, yeah, you can see it. it like, these are slippery. You, you sort of slide on it. But that does give me a, a method to get up, so... Yeah, I can show you what I meant there. Yeah, but normally, yeah, so this is where you land half on it. I've never done it like that before. That actually worked out. I had tried to sort of do that where you sort of land on that, but oh, literally, like, probably 20 or 30 times, it just slipped off. So that was interesting. But says, even now, like, I, this barrel, it's not an exact, you know, it's, like, see, look at that. So I, I was able to climb that barrel, right? Why did it take me so many tries? You know, um, I also, like, see this here, right? I, this looks like, again, something you'd be able to climb. But I, the first time I tried this, I just vaulted it, and I went straight over the other side. So, yeah, like that, like that. Look, what, I, I, I climb one barrel, then the next one vaults me straight over it. Um, and again, even if I'm not meant to get up there, it's just the point of how that looks and how, you know, like, it looks like somewhere I should be able to climb. And that, again, brings us to the roof that I was on when we started, uh, which is just over here. Because, again, it's like, like, you've got this climbing system and all that stuff, and yet the roofs are done in such a way where you can only, uh, if I, if I was able to show the example... Maybe it would help if I didn't have my weapon out. Except that I forget how to put it away. That's fine. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, so you get on the roofs, and again, you can... Like, why? I, I don't know why it's... It just feels a bit underdeveloped in that way. It's done sort of... Lazily. It is just... I really think what it is. Because um, again, I, I, I feel like I've just come into a lot of comparing, but I think you got to do it to a degree. And I think with Black Desert Online, never would happen here. You, you, there is very little you cannot manage, like, there is very little that exists when the, within the environments of Black Desert where you cannot, one way or another, manage to get yourself up there. Every, everything just works like that. There's no, you don't, you don't run into shit like this at all. And I think things like that, that's not a, you know, three years later thing. That's just a fundamental, you know, like, fundamentally, they have built this in such a way where you can't go on the roofs properly. Um where you've got this weird little jump that is just kind of strange where you've got climbing but it really doesn't seem to work that well um yeah i, I feel like I'm, I'm taking longer to go through all this sort of thing but i think it's worth running over like this stuff matters um because this isn't you know a 20 hour rpg this is an morpg that if you're going to play even if you're someone who only has a couple of hours a day for it it, it's a it's a commitment, you know, and, and you enjoy that commitment to the game. Um, and, yeah, so I, so I think looking at all this stuff does matter because I think it paints a bigger picture of how much effort's actually been put up, put in this game. How many people building this game had the, you know, freedom to be able to push things to, like, I don't know, 
Little things like the roofs, I, I would never, if, if I was a game director, I would never allow that to end up in the finished product like this. If I had, if I had that thing, because it, it's such a small, insignificant thing in so many ways. Yet, who the hell wants to run into an invisible wall in an MMORPG? And climbing up things and going all over the place, that also feels very, you know, I mean, that goes all the way back to WoW days for me, trying to climb all over Orgrimmar and shit before we had, like, um, flying mounts, trying to get to places maybe you're not meant to go and... But, you know, you can still get to things, like, they didn't... You didn't run into strange crap like this, and... Especially here, it's like, this This is an obvious place where, like, in most games, you'd just be able to jump onto the roof, because it's like... It's such a small little thing. And, yeah, so I don't know. Um, I say, and that's just to say, like, none of this means that I won't actually play this. I, I may. But I, I think there's a lot to look at with this stuff. Um, let me check my notes, see if I've got through everything I wanted to, because I'm... It's a bit of a ramble. Um, I think that's... Um, yeah, I think the only... The only yeah, my, I was only just... My final note there was just to note, yeah, like, in general, when I step back, I really felt like this is actually a bit unfinished. I think that's really my impression. And that's probably that this is, like, there's a lot to love here, but it, it does feel unfinished. I think that's the word. I think that, you know, smoothing out little things like the movement, I think things like mounts should be in here, because, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if mounts are time constraint thing, but it, it feels like it's just such an easy cop-out to give this in-game reason about the Beast of Bird and stuff, and I don't know. It, it just feels like a cop-out. I think that's really the word for it. Um, yeah, so, and the fact is, like, even if it, even if they did from the start, like, have that plan because of genuine lore reasons and stuff, it still doesn't take away from the fact that they don't have to develop a mount system. They don't have to create the models for mounts. They don't have to create the animations for mounts, the sounds, um, the, the, uh, the little functions, the menus. Like, there's a whole host of things that comes with just having mount. It's not just the models, you know? And so that's a whole thing they don't have to create for this game, which the, the less, you know, if you cut out something like that, it bothers me more seeing things, you know, less polished and stuff. Like, because I, I really don't like this movement, to be honest. Like, the jump, the roll's nice, it's fine. I would like to sprint, but honestly, this does feel fine, so it's not that. It, it really is the jump. And I, I think the jump stands out as being worse because we actually have a climbing system. And it's just so inconsistent. Like, I mean, can I, like, why can't I vault over this? Is this a backyard of someone's? Is this a paid house that you can't tell? It, it probably is, and that's probably why. But you wouldn't know. All I'm getting is that I can't jump over this little tiny fence. Um, yeah. Oh, I think that the only other thing that I wanted to do, uh, which wasn't um, talking about stuff, uh, I wanted to look at the uh, store here, because we didn't actually look at that. I don't know if it didn't load originally, or... Um, which, I guess I have some currency. I don't know. I guess that comes from the Deluxe Edition. I'm not actually sure on that. Um, but so this is one thing I did, have, I did have a note here of something I wanted to mention I, I didn't actually look through it I only clicked onto this and I saw this um, but yes yeah, so let's just look at first I don't think there's much in here we have dyes um, I don't know how much this costs because I don't know what that actually uh, means hard to say I'm guessing it could be roughly like $25 worth, maybe. Like, maybe it sort of route, like, works like that. I'm not sure. I, I assume this comes with a deluxe edition. Uh, but yeah, so far, there isn't, like, a lot here. It looks like. Okay, that is a... That is an interesting housing item. Uh, that weapon thing really doesn't look very special to me. I was actually a bit confused about when I saw that. Like, seriously, that, that looks like... <laughs> I don't know, it looks like a generic axe you'd find in Skyrim or something. Like... This, like, what? Like, how? And and if this is, like, a whole outfit, how, how does that work? A weapon costs, like, comparable to a full thing. Uh, but also this. This is not special. Like, this really doesn't look like anything special at all to me. This looks like the kind of generic stuff you would just have for quest gear or something, you know? Like, am I wrong on that? Like, this really does feel like... It, it doesn't look bad, to say. Like, it, uh, I don't hate it or anything. But this doesn't look special enough that it would be anything more than just a, a set of quest gear. Like, it, this... Like, a kind of cool quest gear, maybe? You know, there's a few little things that are, you know, nice on it, but... 
for the most part, this looks like a pretty generic outfit. Uh, the helm also really doesn't like this. Just feels like it would be some sort of like um, you know, raider outfit or like uh, you know, like something like that or you know. But but it just doesn't look quite special enough that this is the kind of thing they're selling. And it's and it's one off. I mean, I mean, uh, no one off. That it's um, it's the only one available right now. God damn it. Like it's the first one they're selling here, and it just it really doesn't seem like anything special at all. Um, but, coming around to what I think is, is far more significant and important, and that is what I noted. Limited time. Four days. Limited time. Uh, limited. Literally all of this shows is limited. Four days. And considering that the, um, the beta is going, uh, until the second... This all landed onto the 27th for me, which basically means they're doing two lots of limited items within the beta. They'll have these, and then this will refresh for another set for the second half of the beta. And I really, really don't like this. This is a really, really bad sign in my opinion, because, I mean, to put it most simply, this is the closed beta. The game is not even released, and yet they're already pushing FOMO, like the fear of missing out there, because that, that's what this is. It's what it does. I guarantee you there are people who have bought this solely because it's limited, because they didn't want to miss out, they don't know if it's going to be coming back later, and so even if they weren't sure, they probably, there's always going to be that, like, there's going to be a few groups here, where there's a group of people who kind of like it, but wouldn't have got it yet, but then they actually go ahead and get it. you got those people who just don't want to miss out, like they really want to get everything, and they'll be probably a small group, but they'll exist, and they probably wouldn't have bought it otherwise if it wasn't limited. And there's a whole ho sort of host of these smaller groups of people who have that line pushed over to where they end up buying these only because they're limited. And to see like the dies, like what, why? Why is a die limited time? Like that's, that's, that's stupid. Um, so the, 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 yeah, it's like, look, I mean, I get it. They got to monetize. This is not a, um, it's a one-off payment game. There's no subscription. So a shop like this is pretty much standard fare, unfortunately. It's, I, I would prefer a scription model myself. I, I definitely prefer that. Although that can get tainted with the same shit, so depends, but, um, but it's the FOMO that gets me here. I wouldn't care if this store was loaded out to be able to buy shit in the beta. Um, I wouldn't care if there was, you know, a couple of limited things. Like if these were some like rather special limited things, that were like very specific to the beta and they were a bit of a, you know, they, they weren't expensive and they were more, a, you know, like, you know, say like they were, you know, a quarter the price of normal stuff and they were a bit of just a, a fun promo thing for those in the beta. I, I can get behind that kind of thing because it would be for the beta. Whereas this, this doesn't feel beta or anything. This just feels like a, a limited time outfit that they're calling limited because they are. There's nothing about this that, you know, I'm going to see this in a year and think, oh yeah, the beta, you know what I mean? It's like, there's nothing special about this that makes it sort of that. So, so there's, there's a bit of a line there where I think there's some acceptable thing, but yeah, the, the idea that they're pushing FOMO in the closed beta that's getting wiped, which I mean, I assume obviously you'll be able to get these again in the full game, but it's just really, like really, they're really pushing that kind of thing already. Like why, like, cause again, like you, they could have this same store here with all this same stuff and it not be limited. Like, so, yeah, that, that's really sort of the, the thing that worries me in the Black Desert sense. Because as much as I love that, that's where they failed. My god, the, the shop, the, the monetization, I mean, I, I, I could talk about it for hours. It, it's so hard to even summarize if you're unfamiliar, because it, it was a gradual thing, and there were certain big steps taken, and it, it's just, yeah, it's not good. Um, yeah, but so the idea that they're going that way, which is, that's the the big concern I touched on, the idea that they're going to be shitty with their monetization, and if they're going to be pushing, you know, the fear of missing out as their means of monetization, uh, it's, it's not a good sign for me, because I think a company that leans that way at the start is a company that's not going to be against EXP boosters, and uh, who, who knows, honestly, who knows, like, you know, so, yeah, that, that's really my big concern with this. Um, I guess I have some cash if I actually do want to grab something, but that aside, I mean, I may as well, because I'll use it if I, something stands out, but not because it's limited, that's for sure. I mean, even that, like, really? 
arm flex, limited time emote. And, and this is the shitty thing they do too. And this is what pushes it into FOMO territory because there's no little like thing you can hover over that says it'll be returning later or any shit like that. No, it just says limited time and gives no elaboration. Leaves the store. Because honestly, the chances are this stuff will come back. Like it, it probably will. But yet they get that increased monetization and pushing sales here at the start by doing the FOMO shit. And yeah, that the, I honestly, I think this is probably the biggest negative point for me so far about the game and the thing that could turn me off. Because again, it's, it's not to say it's wrong necessarily, but I'm not looking to invest myself into another game like that. You know, I, I would honestly prefer to put my time into Final Fantasy 14 right now if that, this goes that way, even though I'm sort of treating that more as a weird, casual, single-player experience, just enjoying it. Um, but, like, I, I would prefer to throw my time into that, you know? The next MMO I want to put serious time into, I want it to respect my time and... or, or respect my investment, even, you know? Like, because all the cosmetics in the world, you know, they, they aren't a bad thing if they're handled correctly. You know, I, I would prefer a game with none of it. I hearken back to the days of, like... I mean, 2008 RuneScape, you know, 2000 and, uh, like 2006 to 2009 World of Warcraft, like, some real golden days, you know, like, back when what you invested in the game was what you invested in the game, your effort was what you had, and if you saw someone with something, you knew they earned it, you know, and if they had something cool and you knew what it was and it was tough to get, you knew how much effort they had potentially put in. Whereas, like, anything you can buy in a game, like, RuneScape's a good example of that. Whereas that was thrown out the window when tokens came in. Now it's just lit like, I mean, this, and that was, uh, it was, like, such a sad thing for that. RuneScape used to fight real-world trading so hard, and it seemed to be for the sake of the players. It seemed to be for the sake of the in-game economy and the game itself that they were so worried about. And then at some point they were like, oh, fuck it, we'll just start selling gold, I guess. <laughs> And it might be slightly different, but it doesn't change the fact that someone with a good job can just go in and throw a couple grand down and not give a shit. I think that's the thing with games. Like, hey, if you want to spend your money on a game, I'm not one to judge, don't get me wrong. It's the fact that you can that bothers me. Like, I don't care if you do it personally. It's the fact that you can that throws people, you know? Like, I think most people, like, most people don't hate whales, you know? They hate the, poss the fact that whales can exist, you know? Um, I think that's really a big thing. Yeah. I don't know. I, I just... I don't want to go that way. I, I think back to games like that, and it really does make me... It, there's a lot of nostalgia is tied, but it was just a better time for those games. And RuneScape, I think, is one of them good ones, because it's like... I think the example with, with that spending stuff is like... You, you, there's people who would make the argument, which I think is a really... You know, it's, it, you could say it's a fair but very dumb argument, of like everyone can spend money so it's still like a fair playing ground or something it's like obviously everyone has different amounts of money so not really but also not everyone has the same amount of time so you know there is ways that you can say that's still a fair point but it doesn't also make it a stupid point because it sort of misses the broader points and the damage it does to a game and the mindset of a lot of players and the value people put in and all that stuff uh, but the point i'm going to say is that the, the difference between someone with a, a fifty thousand dollar job a year and $200,000 uh, a year is, is a lot of flexibility, you know? So it's like, even if you're someone who is willing to spend the money and stuff, well, it means two things. Like, you could earn $250,000 a year, but the idea of spending any money on cosmetics is absolutely ridiculous to you. Or the idea of buying tokens to get gold rather than playing the game, for the RuneScape example, could be ridiculous to you. You'd never do that. On the other hand, there are people who earn that amount of money they have a small family, moderate home, and they have a lot of extra income. And maybe they don't go out that much and they can pretty live a comfortable life. Well, someone like that can genuinely throw a couple grand down on RuneScape tokens if they wanted, and it wouldn't matter. It's not a big thing. It's not hurting their family or anyone or them or anything. It's not hurting their bottom line. It's, you know, the, the impact that that amount of money has on their life into the game is almost nothing compared to other people who... You know, you just can't do that, you know, for all these reasons. And again, that's just life. Um, but it's like, you know, we don't we don't want life in the MMOs. Like, that's, sort of, that's sort of the point. This is meant to be a different life. And so when you smash them together and you start sort of weighing up your the amount of time it takes to get the amount of gold that you want versus how much time you could work and just buy it, that's so fucked. 
it's so fucked. It's no one wants that. And I think it's it's the thing that's truly tainted so many online games over the past 10 years. Uh, like, yeah. All right, that, that'll do for me on that. I, I, have, I think I've rambled for like over 30 minutes here. If you have made it this far through the video, I thank you very much. We will actually get to some content now. Um, I, I really do thank you if you made it through all that. Let me know if you have any thoughts on any of that stuff. Um, bit of a ramble, but I think, I think a lot of it is important, even if it's been said before. It's just... Uh, I, I sometimes it's hard to hard to know like what are we dealing with here is, are we dealing with a shitty game director who was ultimately just placed in there to get shit done and earn as much money as possible or is it people who genuinely want to make the best experience they don't have to go nuts on monetization but they they don't realize just how much this impacts the game they don't realize just how much it taints people's experience because that's the thing I think a lot of people don't get. Um, let's actually walk somewhere while I'm talking. Um, what do we got to do? We have to speak. You know, let's just go for a little wander. Uh, we haven't been... We haven't been out this other way here, so let's just go for a little wander. Um, what was I about to say? Oh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> uh, seriously, I completely lost my train of thought. God damn it. That, that happens sometimes. It's fine. <laughs> um, just here, so where is... Oh, wait, because we can't... I don't know if we can get across there. I was curious what this fort was like, like what it actually looked like. Oh, man, I, I completely lost uh, what I was saying. Um... God damn it. <laughs> uh, this is, that happens. It's fine. All right, um... I feel like there's actually one more thing I want to do here. Oh, right, this is only a little thing, but just for... While I've lost my train of thought, I did want to actually... Yeah, we had a couple points to use, so... Um, game 10% of your max mana per enemy hit by Pillar of Fire. Oh, that's that that sounds useful. But Meteor Shower sounds very nice. Channel a spell that rains down meteors, dealing 34% weapon damage on initial impact and additional 20% weapon damage per second. Sounds good to me. Oh, right. I was talking about, like, game directors and people running shit, wasn't I? Yeah, so it's hard to sort of know in that regard. Like, how much is Amazon pushing that they need to monetize and stuff? Um, oh, right. The, the actual point I was getting to, I was going to say, I think there's a lot of, like, misunderstanding about how much this stuff impacts games. Because I've, I've seen, like, for example, like, a poll uh, before of stuff like this, these kind of implementations, and it was, like, a 50-50 split. Um, not, not talking about the FOMO, but like of the heavy shot presence and stuff. And it was something like 50-50 people who were bothered by that stuff. And I'm not talking about like basic cosmetics. I mean the stuff like the extra shit, you know, the, the buffs, the boosters and the XP things and this and that's and whatever the hell they could possibly, you know, something that lowers your taxes slightly. I mean, I could see a lot of things being done. Um, but the problem is that so you can get like 50-50 people or something. Who 50 50 uh, 50 percent who don't like it, 50 percent who basically don't care, because that that seems to be what the problem that we get is. With stuff like this in MMOs, it's not usually one person likes this stuff and one person doesn't. It's usually one person doesn't like it and one person doesn't care. And well, that that's the thing about that is the person who do doesn't like it, they matter a lot more. Not caring, that's that's easy. That's a you know. Like, that's easy to work with then. and But they take advantage of that. They take, like, that's why they get they can get away with it, because there's so many people who don't care. But when you have, like, half people who act actively don't like it versus just don't care, I, I mean, I don't, I don't even know how to articulate how bad that is for a game. And, uh, I don't know. It's... Is that, wow, this looks really nice out here, doesn't it? I don't know if we could, like, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go for a bit of a... Try and get down here. Let's go for a little wander, and then we can recall and continue on the quest. Uh, but I'll say, I, just, I guess... Um, how to put it? So... Um, I mean, because obviously... You know, when they're making these games and all the monetization and stuff, like, they obviously don't want people to hate it. You know, they, they don't want people to, you know, despise it and think it's awful and all that shit. And so they, they go with, you know the most that they can get away with often and that's why you often have the slow sort of scaling up and all that shit um but I said it still doesn't like people who don't care they don't matter for that because either way they get what they want if it's there or not so factoring them not caring to be able to like get away with it it sucks because the people who do care 
they're usually more the lifeblood of the game, you know? And that's not to say that people who don't care about it aren't also, you know, very active players and all that stuff. But I feel like the people that really do care about stuff, they're the, t the people who tend to put, like, five years into an MMO. They're, they're the people, like myself, who will play an MMO daily, you know? Um, because, because the people that play MMOs for years, they usually get some sense of satisfaction out of an MMO. They like the feeling of achieving an MMO. They like the feeling of the, the grind and the push and the stats and, like, that stuff, you know? All the different things. And obviously the social aspect can be a huge one as a long-term player type thing. But I, I think that most people who do care, the people who would be in the 50% of don't want, they are the people who tend to play the most. They're the people who care the most. They're the ones who try and get their friends to play. They're, you know, and again, there's going to be crossover. I'm not saying that's some definitive split or anything. But I think it's pretty fair to say that the people who don't want it tainted by outside forces are probably the people who are most invested in the game on a personal level. And I feel like that personal investment, that the very nature of that, that is why World of Warcraft was so successful originally. That is why Vanilla WoW boomed to the degree, to, to the degree that it did, you know? <laughs> Although ironically on that sense, now they've gone with TBC Classic and they've basically just slapped all of that in the face with boosters and... Uh, it, that's what I mean, it's like, do these people, like, are they so disconnected or just dumb that they actually can't, like, they don't understand the impact it's having? Or is it really, like, I mean, uh, because obviously you can say, like, obviously they care about monetization, but I mean, like, do they, ca do, do the people who make those decisions truly care about monetization that much, that that stuff doesn't matter? Or do they genuinely believe that it's only a small part of the player base who really dislike it and they don't actually understand what it does in the long term. I don't know. It's, it, these are actually, like, these are really complicated things that I'm rambling about because there's a lot of, like, I don't know, subtle psychological points to it. Like, because again, like, you could say, like, for example, these cosmetics, like, j say this game was going to do nothing but cosmetics, right? Purely no limitations, just cosmetic stuff. That alone is going to Im impact some people's mindset. It, it just will. Like it, and and yet it, you could say it changes literally nothing about the game to a degree. Like about the core, about like ninety nine percent. But this, even if it's not say it's not turning someone off, or whatever, it alone will change how some people view this game. And you scale it up, and that gets worse and worse. And you know, because like a game where you literally nothing can be bought, purely earning game. That that's the gold for me. So even for me, it does impact that. But not not to the degree where it's going to bother me. But then you get in them other areas and it does. So it's like, you know, that that's me. That's a, this, that's not a sub, that's not an objective thing, you know. It could be objective to say that, um, uh, like you, you could probably somewhat objectively say that monetization schemes are generally a bad thing for MMOs. But it's it's always a personal level thing as to the way in which it bothers you. Um, but I do think that. It is the probably the majority of players who at least feel somewhat against it, but I don't know, it's a weird thing because you've also got some people who have now, they haven't even had the alternative experience, you know? You've got people who are under 18 who, you know, they, they may have played their first MMO at 13 now, and they, they haven't actually experienced what it's like to feel that achievement. They've never actually felt that community, they've, that you know, seeing someone with something awesome and wondering how they got it and things, <laughs> rather than wondering, oh, is that a new store thing? Like, you know, there's like, there's this, uh, is that, it, there's, there's a lot of complexities to this. There, there really is. It's, you know, I think the simple concept is that, you know, monetization in games is shitty. Let me just pay for what I play and that's that. But, you know, if you really dig into this stuff and break it all down, it does get pretty, pretty murky, I would say. But my God, have I rambled a lot over the last 45 minutes. I'll, uh, I'll try and taper that off now. What are you? You looked, uh, interesting. I would, uh... Oh, you, interesting. Oh, shit. You got a gun. Okay. Can I... Can I block your bullets? Okay, that still took 71. Interesting. I'm curious if... Can... Uh, because I've seen people wearing some of this armor. I don't know if that's for a quest or if it's, uh... If they can drop it. That'd be kind of cool. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, I mean, everything I've said here... Uh, none of it's to say, even though I'm, I mean, uh, I don't even know, I, that was a lot of rambling. My, my brain needs to cool down. Um, 
But yeah, like, see, I look at this here. Love it. This looks epic. And I, I love it. You know? Like, I feel like this kind of view, even though Black Desert's world is huge, you just never get this. You don't get some of the epicness that this... Yeah, I, I love the scaling of this so far. Um, I said, there's a lot of things I want to say positively, but... You know, if something crosses the line, I'm not going to try and fight it. I'm not going to be that person who's, like, bitching... Because like, this thing, like... If they go whatever route they do here, you're not going to find me constantly bitching about it and blah, 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 and still playing and all that. No, I'm just going to walk away, you know, wash my hands of it and be done. And it'll be like sort of a sad moment. Like, oh, it's, that's too bad. You know, I really, but in the end, I won't regret it. I'll be happy to move on. And if a MMO comes out that's solid, then I'll run with that. Um, at the moment, I don't really know. Oh, uh. Well, I was saying, at the moment, I don't really know what that line is quite there, but I think there is a line for me where I'm just like, I'm not going to make a fuss, I'm not going to be, you know, bitch about it. I'm just like, alright, fair enough, that's the way you're doing things, it's not for me. And I think, look, the FOMO stuff bothers me greatly, but it's not a deal breaker. Limited time cosmetics, fine. Um, limited time die, fine, but weird. Limited time emotes, I don't give a shit. Um, like I said, these here that I'm seeing... This is, like, this would be, like, if this is the top, that they're just going to push the FOMO for cosmetics, I'm good with that. I don't, it doesn't mean I don't hate it. It doesn't mean it doesn't bother me and worry me that that's sort of the way they're going. But that wouldn't stop me playing this game if everything else is good. Uh, on the other hand, if they do EXP boosters, if they do level boosters, if they do uh, things that lower your tax rate, if they do something like a value pack, which is a, a black desert thing, which is essentially a thing you buy, like it lasts for like 30 days and it gives you like a whole bunch of things, like it gives you like, which actually that's another thing, like, uh, one second. Uh, yeah, so weight, there's another thing. In like black desert, if you have a value pack, this weight would increase. Um, it also like lowers your taxes. It also gives you some bonus XP for both life skills and combat. Uh, it also makes the marketplace taxes less, um, I think I just said that. Oh yeah, it does like this whole handful of things, and it costs like 15 bucks for like 30 days. Um, yeah, yeah, so like things like that, uh, if they go that way, then I'm just gonna walk away immediately. I'm just, I'm, my biggest concern is, uh, really, is that they're gonna do that three months in. That, that's my big worry, that they're not gonna do it at the start. They give it like three months in and they do that. That's that's my biggest worry. Um, yeah. Also, my FPS is doing really well up here right now. Uh, did I actually, did I boost these? What are we on? Okay, we're okay. I'd set it to low last night. Um, I was yeah, checking it. Uh, but yeah, I think that's probably the rough line for me. If, if they go into the functional territory like that, that's probably when I'll just step back. Um, hopefully there's some more info about that before the launch. Because um, as of now, I think um, I'm going to do something similar to what I've been doing here and play it at launch. Um, I'd like to actually try and literally play on launch and try and get mana. Uh, mana? God damn it. <laughs> don't even know my own name. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to go to. Yeah, uh, it'd be good to actually get uh, mana there. That, that, would be, that would be quite nice. And I think I would be able to, like, um, you know, Oceanic Realms less... You know, I, I'm pretty flexible on when I can be available and shit, so... You know, I'm, I'm, I am going to try and actually get my name and stuff, and that'll be cool. But, uh, how, how we'll go from there, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I was about to say here, um, apparently this game doesn't have swimming. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, no swimming, so let's actually see what happens here. Apparently you just basically keep walking. Yeah, and you just end up under the water. Oh my god. It, oh my god. Really? You literally just walk with breath. Wow, that's... That's not good. That's not good, is it? Because this, this feels like... I mean, like the mounts, you can give like a reason sort of thing. But I was saying like how the mounts, like even if you give a law reason, it's something you didn't have to develop. Well, in this case, I cannot fathom what kind of law reason you can give for this. But they didn't develop swimming. So, like, how do you have a world like this with little, like, things off the coasts and all these sort of, like, water areas in between and, uh, like, it looks like there's a bit of it. Like, there's, like, pools of water, there's the clean little lakey things. There's, I mean, there's, there's a fair bit of water going on around here. Like, look at it. There really is a fair bit of water in the land, lakes and stuff, which that's cool. Big, big-ass lake, awesome. Except you can't swim. 
And, and it's not even, like, it's not that you can't swim, it's this. Like, they did, look, look at this, I'm not even, like, my movement is no different or anything. It's like, what, slower? Like, the animation's no different or anything, like, um, you got these, like, awkward, look, look at the splashes. It's the exact same animation, just over and over. And, I mean, all, yeah, all you're doing is, is walking. It's normal land walking, wow. I'm a little shocked by this, actually. I've only seen a screenshot of someone standing in the water, and I've seen you can't swim, but, like, really? I, 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 I don't even know, like, that's pretty bad. I feel like it would, it would be both better and worse if you just walked out there and started drowning. You know, it's like your character can't swim because swimming wasn't readily taught in this era or something. Like, that, that would at least, you know, ah, I don't know. I mean, I guess there is some law where you can actually sort of, you know, explain it in some way like that. But, Mike, like, the idea that you just start walking like that, I mean, that's the kind of, like, I, I don't even... I don't actually have the words for it. it. That's that's really, you know. I th oh, I think really that just comes back to. What is that weird? There's a weird line in the sand there. Wait, is that is that a sand texture that's, uh, or is that just where the tide's gone up to? It looks way too uniform. Um, I was about to say, yeah, so the, the swimming thing, I mean, that just, that just makes me think back to, again, this game is underdeveloped. It, honestly, it probably needed another year. It probably did. And it's kind of insane to think that this game was coming out a year ago. Um, it, it feels like it's a bit of a Cyberpunk 27, 2077 situation, except as opposed to getting all sorts of strange bugs, we just have... You know, the, it's like the content's more polished, but it's not less finished overall. Uh, and I'm heading away from that way now. I don't, I don't know what I was... Sorry, th I know this has been a very weird, probably, start to things, so... You know what, let's just jump to the settlement and, uh... uh let's have a look at the faction things, yeah. I, I think I've rambled enough on that stuff for now. I don't know, let me know if you have any thoughts on any of it. It's, um... Hmm. No, no. <laughs> We're just, uh, just gotta be hopeful, I suppose, with how they do things. But I, I, I do feel like this game has a lot of potential. I do, I just... Yeah, the more I'm seeing, the more... I guess it's... Seeing it, you know, a lot of things I like, but I think if I'm being more critical and stopping and thinking, that's where I start to really think this is, is underdeveloped. You know? I think this area in particular stands out to me because of, um... In, in, yeah, I, I apologize for mentioning... I mean, I guess it's natural to mention other MMOs, but it's probably confusing if you've never played some of them. Uh, but in Black Desert Online, for example, it's a city called Hydel. Uh, town, I guess you'd probably say, actually. Um, either one. But yes, yeah, so there's a market area. There's actually something quite similar to this, where the market is just over here, and there's a fountain. Uh, although it's not quite like this whole area, but I just mean there is a market thingy and a fountain. And up in that area, you've also got, like, four NPCs that would, say, be along here different ones, there's like blacksmith, there's a, uh, gun one, I think, or not guns, but, um, I don't know what the hell they have, I think one of them's a reagent vendor, I think one of them says, like, arms and that, they don't literally sell guns, but, like, they, it says, like, something, um, another one, yeah, anyway, there's, like, a group of them, but then also, around the fountain, you just have NPCs, there's, like, a, some of them just, like, hanging out, there's another guy who's saying something, and someone, like, people, gr uh, crowding around, and, um, there's some others off the way, and there's some sitting on some benches, and it's like, the, the, this game just doesn't seem to have any of that. And that's the kind of thing you wouldn't necessarily add at the beginning, I feel like. That's something that could definitely come later. I don't, I don't know how that works at this level of development, but I could definitely see you'd, you'd have all of this done. Then you'd start filling in some NPCs around the place, and, you know... Because again, like, I'm not even talking about NPCs that have to have dialogue, or quests, or anything. I'm literally just talking about NPCs around the place, which... I, you know, again, maybe you could have something saying, like, there's less NPCs because of what this new world place is, and that the players are making up that because there isn't actually that many here, but then there's others, and I don't know, that, that just feels like I'm trying to come up with something, <laughs> as opposed to that actually being, like, what I would default assume. Uh, 
yeah, I don't know, I'm trying to wrap up my ramblings here, there's just, there's just so much, like, yeah. And now, I guess actually this is just a, my, my final little tangent here. Ashes of Creation is another one. Uh, I don't, I, I think that might have been, it was like a closed alpha recently or something. I really haven't been paying attention to it, but it's another one I, I do want to check out as well. I'm curious about. But they, they've, they've done some weird shit that's been questionable, so I'm not really sure how that's going to go. Uh, how you doing? The Covenant shares its light with all, so as to lead all men from darkness. Will you carry the light with us? Tell me about the Covenant. In all people, there is a spark. An initiative, if you will. In some people, it burns so brightly that others feel it. We in the Covenant are the purveyors of the spark. We foster its growth in all people. We protect the light. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, let's go to the Marauders. I gotta say, I'm, I'm thinking that it's gonna be like... I, I think the Syndicate's going to be the biggest, then the Marauders, then the Covenant. Although Marauders, Marauders could be the biggest, maybe. Although I, I really think it's going to be Syndicate. I think a lot of people will join the Marauders, but Syndicate will still be bigger, and then Covenant will be the smallest. That's just uh, what I'm thinking so far. Which actually, I do seem to be seeing a lot of purple. I, don't know, I haven't been paying too much attention to that, but... Yeah, purple, purple, purple. <laughs> uh, where are we at here? Over that way. All right, I keep I keep not looking at the top thing, which I I probably should. Although, yeah. Uh, you down here then? Is that? I really should actually. Okay. Wait. What? I'm facing that way, but then it's straight ahead. What? That doesn't make sense, does it? That's, okay, so, oh no, it's, okay, that's going to be an arrow, I guess. I was going, looking to the center. But I guess you're actually meant to go right at that tip point. Okay. That makes sense. Hello. <laughs> hey, doing, bud? You wish to learn the secrets that only the Syndicate have uncovered, don't you? Well, you look kind of shady. Tell me about the Syndicate. The Syndicate? Why, we are the learned ones. We use the razor of logic and the guide of reason to understand our world. We possess forbidden knowledge, and we wield the power of this knowledge just as logic dictates. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, let's go see what the Marauders have to say. I'm thinking, like, for me, I'm thinking Syndicate still, but we'll see what the Marauders actually have to say. I mean, I'm just a fan of Purple, personally. <laughs> Uh, it's a good reason. It's a good reason to choose. But yes, we'll, we'll see what the Marauders actually have to say. Might be something interesting. How you doing, bud? Do you seek the glory and riches of battle? If you possess a fortitude, you may become one of us. Tell me about the Marauders, buddy. We are the solution to a world in chaos. Through strength, discipline, and perseverance, we will enforce our will and bring this land to order. Hmm... Well, I'd prefer to be on the side of chaos myself, so you good luck with that, but I think I'll go with the Syndicate. Sounds more chaosy, <laughs> even though they were talking about something or other, but they're, you know, Marauders sound all right, but I'd prefer to be on the side of chaos myself, being a fire mage and all. You know, yeah, the, uh, the movement is interesting, isn't it? Uh, oh. Oh, I thought we just had to, okay. Can we not join via them? We have to... Are we joined via the magistrate or are we just consulting? Either way. <laughs> I, saw, I saw that name yesterday, Barack Osama. Uh, or Barack, I should, wait, what, Barack, Barack, yeah. Damn America. <laughs> Speak with the factions. They're the ones best suited to defend the settlement. Indeed, I spoke to them. Do I make my choice now? No, I think so. As rowdy and demanding as they can sometimes be, they are effective. If you want to make a difference here or anywhere in Eternum, it's really the most efficient way to do so. Hmm, I see, I see. Um, but do I have to? Yes, you do. I don't like that, actually. Um, it feels like you shouldn't have to. I mean, I guess it's probably going to be a core part of it, but... In terms of, like, you know, a sandbox MMO, it feels like it should be as much a choice to not join one of them and have some consequences because of that. 
Like, if, if you're not, you know, that, yeah, I don't know, I think that could be cool. That's fine. I wonder if this, I wonder if, like, actually, you know, speaking of this name, um, for a second here, um, I wonder if, like, names like that are going to get someone in trouble. Because, um, apparently people have been getting banned for, like, just swearing. Like, like, basic swearing, like saying shitty and stuff like that. Um, I think someone got banned for saying shut up, even. Like, there's going to be, like, real oversensitivity on that stuff, so... I wonder if, like, because of the Osama thing, like, I wonder if there's going to be a uh, banning of that kind of stuff. Which would be unfortunate, you know. I'd, I'd prefer people to be able to be pieces of shits as they please, you know. That's the the natural way of things, like... It's especially in an MMO, I, I much prefer that. Um, but also, like, we... The thing that I hate, too, is we do have, like, a language filter, and yet people are getting ba banned for swearing. And to clarify, I don't mean banned for swearing at people, I mean banned for swearing, you know? Like, we, which is just such a, it's just such a childish thing, like, I think we all learn pretty early on, there's a big difference between swearing and swearing at someone, <laughs> like, you know, and if, if you're, tr like, it's, if it's treated the same, the person treating it that way is the idiot, you know? Like, if you just say fuck, versus you say fuck you to someone, in a, you know, sort of harsh way or something, like, it's different, like, obviously, it's not... Doesn't need to be explained even, <laughs> but you know, the idea of banning people for that stuff in an MMO, it's like, what, what are you doing? Like, this is not a children's game for God's sake. And actually, even if it was, like, again, like I said this in the last one, teenagers swear more than adults. So anyone 13 plus hearing swearing, like who, who, who's, who gives a shit? Like, are they gonna give a shit? No, obviously not. Do their parents? Probably not because it's everywhere. Every, like, M-rated movie has swearing and stuff. Like, th these aren't things you need to freaking hide from people, like, you know? And I mean, look, if a parent wants to do that and all that stuff, like, you, you do you, you know, parent your child as you please. I'm not saying anything on that front. But, you know, this is this is meant to be a whole other world, like, we're thinking. And the idea of people, like, doing just basic swears, getting bans, I mean, that's that's crazy. We, we can really only hope it's a moderation beta type thing, like there's issues with it and it's probably, there's some automation that's going a bit over top and they're going to adjust it, like that's the hope because no, nobody wants to play a game like this where you have to, like, you know, awkwardly, what do you, like, just uh, skirt around what you're saying and stuff and think twice before, it's like, ugh, like that's, no, that's not what you want in MMO, not at all. People should be able to be complete pieces of shit, like, as long as they're not, like, encouraging breaking laws or real-world real, real world violence or any of that kind of shit. You, people should be able to be complete, degenerate pieces of shit in this. Like, that's that's what I want for my MMOs, you know? Doesn't mean I want to do that, but I, but I want to I want to be in a real world here, you know? I don't want a world where everyone's tiptoeing around what they're fucking saying. Jesus, that's just fucking dumb. Like, it's... no one wants that. Okay, I'm done with my ranting. Let's go join the city. Yes. <laughs> My, my my rambles are turning into rants. It's, it's fine. Somewhat. Uh, but yes, I, I would just, you know... Nobody wants that shit. Except for weirdos. Weirdos who like to control people. But no, I'm, I'm, I'm all for freedom. Freedom is very good. How you doing, Pablo? And a jump. How you doing, bud? I see your skeptical expression. That is the hallmark of an alchemist. Doubt, investigate, reveal the hidden truth. That is our way. Honestly, I just want your glasses. I've decided I want to join the syndicate. Oh, why join a faction? Well, I don't even want to, but it's... Engage in special faction missions. Complete missions for EXP coin and faction tokens. Earn influence to determine territory control. Complete strategically against enemy... Compete strategically against enemy factions in PvP missions. Gain access, and gain access to elite faction gear. Spend faction tokens on special weapons, armor, and consumables. Earn ranks to unlock advanced tiers and crafting components. Enjoy the benefits of territory con territory control. Reduce costs for workshops and fast travel. Complete town missions to upgrade the settlement. Okay. Oh, okay, so there's PvP and faction war stuff too. Oh, okay, so the flagging is faction based then, I see. Flagging for PvP. Flag for PvP from any settlement or outpost. Earn additional XP when flagged. Contribute to faction influence within the territory. Territory control. Faction members of controlling faction enjoy benefits in territory and settlement. Controlling factions reinforce control by completing PvP faction missions. Opposing factions undermine enemies' faction control by competing, completing PvP faction missions. 
earn enough influence to challenge for territory control through a declaration of war. Faction War. 50 vs 50 player siege combat at a territory's fortress. Utilize a variety of siege weapons to get the upper hand on your opponents. The attacker's objective is to claim the capture point at the heart of the fortress. The defender's objective is to fend off the attackers for 30 minutes. Oh wow, okay. 50 player, 50 vs 50 for 30 minutes? I mean, that's, that's no joke. That, that could be some crazy shit. Actually, that, that, that could be, like, pretty fun. Like, especially being a ranged person, like, just running around and just blasting anyone who can't see you sort of thing. It could be fun. Territory control, territory influence. Territory influence is a measure of a faction's control over a territory. Complete faction PvP missions to retain control of a territory. The factions that do not control that territory must complete PvP faction missions to enable a declaration of war. Reinforce or undermine faction's territory. Controlling factions reinforce control by completing... Didn't we just read that? Undermine the opposing faction's territory by completing PvP faction missions. Prevent other factions from completing PvP faction missions by flagging for PvP and, and patrolling the territory. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's a kind of cool idea, isn't it? Like, if, yeah. Actually, like, people... But, yeah. I I'm curious how all this is going to work, because it's... It's a bit... Like... This system definitely um, has some like Black Desert vibes for me, yet sort of, uh, I mean, uh, well, it's got those vibes for that setup, like of Node Wars and shit, but more, I don't know, they've flipped it around from rather than being guilds as to being factions, which is a, which is a much larger scale. Like, I'm, I'm curious how that's going to actually work. Or, like, how much people are going to care, you know? Because unlike a guild, which you sort of, you know, you, you go into that with a certain understanding, every guild's different, and all that stuff. Whereas with this, it's that's very different when everyone just has to be in one. I'm curious how, m m like, how large of a percentage of people are going to care. Like, how many people are actually going to do something, like patrolling and stopping that. And, yeah, it'll be, it'll be really interesting to see how that develops and how close-knit a faction can be and or people want to be and stuff but then it also makes me wonder about companies then like like the games guilds i mean what's their role like are they completely separate from this type of stuff or hmm flag for pvp flag for pvp from any settlement out yeah we, we just we read this right upon leaving a settlement you receive a 30 second timer upon becoming flag once the timer expires you're free to engage flag members of the opposing factions Contribute to the influence war to help your faction take control of each territory by completing PvP faction missions. Keep an eye out for enemy players who are flagged and stop them from earning influence for their faction by cutting them down. Does it sounds really cool? Wait, what? I already did. Th Wait, what? Okay. Is it making me pick even though I'm just like... Oh, well, I can pick another one even though it's through this faction member? A little thing, but again, it's just... It's, it's a little sloppy. Clever disciples who fight with cunning for the sake of truth and progress. Proud warriors who fight with honor for glory and self-improvement. Divine champions who fight with conviction for righteousness and justice. Ah, none of them really fit what I would honestly want. I mean, it feels like one of them should be a bit more chaos, honestly. Like, cause I, like truth and progress, righteousness and justice, honor for glory and self-improvement. It feels like it would, like, with a factional thing, one of them should be a lot more self-serving. Which I thought maybe the syndicate would be, like... It feels like the syndicate should be, like, the shady sort of, you know, I don't know, doing all the shady stuff, basically, you know? Um, obviously, I'm just taking that from the name, but also with reading these, I feel like it would also fit in having one of the factions be, you know, a bit more of the shady, dirty players, as opposed to, like, not dirty players as in players of the game, just, you know what I mean? Like, um, players in the world of... Yeah, yeah hopefully that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I just It feels like this would, like, even if it wasn't this one, I, I kind of thought... Uh, I know, I feel like it would make sense if one of them was fitting more into that. I think that would definitely fit in with this world. Because it seems like everyone has to join one of these. Yet all of these are rather positive, you know? None of them imply trying to really take over and conquer and... You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I mean, the Marauders a little bit, since it's sort of glory through battle and self-improvement and warrior. So, But they that sounds, yeah, more honourable, but still, I don't know. Anyway, we'll still go with the syndicate, it's fine. You will only be able to join a company with players of the same faction. Oh, so, yeah. 
Interesting. Is that that's what I was wondering? And honestly, that's that's. Hmm. You will only be able to join a company with players of the same faction. If flagged for PvP, you will only be able to group up with players from the same faction. Before joining, you might want to double check the faction choices of your friends in New World. Your choice isn't permanent. You can change your faction from the bio screen once. After that, you can change it again every 120 days. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I'm really curious about the role of a guild then, a company as it is, because... I was kind of thinking that maybe with the factions being what they were, that the companies would be a separate thing and it wouldn't do that. Like, it wouldn't matter what faction you are. But to have to have company specific, uh, faction specific companies, I, I, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, still fine for my choice, I guess, but it might, does that mean, do I have to join one still? Probably, I mean, I guess I do since it was a quest. I mean, you'd probably technically just ignore it, like the quest and not do it but you know it's fine aha you have been convinced to leave the flock and learn the truth but first i have a challenge for you i'm up for a challenge buddy there is a shipwreck near here by a pirate named abadir he was driven mad by his pursuits in alchemy his crew expanded as he claimed he could turn metal to gold go to abadir's anger and return with what you find what do you expect me to find buddy we know gold transmutation to be a pipe dream, but his stock of alchemic components is invaluable to the Syndicate. It's those components we're really after. Sure, buddy. I like die. Alright, very good. Which, um... Interesting. So... It's sort of, like, yeah, so it's sort of weird, because that was, like, our main quest line. It's sort of just twisted in faction now. Uh, we still have this going, which we're actually somewhat level relevant to. These are still sitting here, which I guess is fine. Uh, documents. Oh, did I just get them? Or Achievements come up, but I didn't... I don't know what this is. Uh, okay. I, I don't know when I picked this up. Uh, when I was playing last night, I was specifically avoiding picking things up. Okay. Constable Mace's journal. Found at Constable's desk in Everfall. Everfall? What the fuck is Everfall? Is this ever fall? Uh, September 23rd? The moment I set foot in Everfall, I knew I had found paradise. How could I ever turn to the infernal brimstone desert knowing this was here? I decided then and there that I'd be abandoning the Legion. I just had to wait for Legionnaire Carolus to give up on me, which finally came to pass, thank the gods. My affection for the autumn colors hasn't waned to this day, but I do feel like I've become stuck somehow. Like the season itself, I'm in transition, waiting for a winter that will never come. Furthermore, I've started noticing a change in the people here, a hollowness about the eyes. Yesterday, I went out and they all looked like puppets from some traveling mummers show. Then the weight of the sky started to bear down on me, like a crushing misery. I just ran back into the town hall and frankly, I'm now scared to leave. I know Legionnaire Corallus would say I was cursed for betraying the Legion. I don't know if it's that or some further stroke of ill luck, but I won't be leaving town hall anytime soon if I can help it. I just hope this town doesn't turn against me. Uh, okay. Sounds... Interesting. And this is this Everfall? Am I just not aware of the town name that I've been in for like quite a while here? Monarch's Bluff. No, it's Monarch's Bluff Hamlet. So where where what? Is that Everfall? Oh, that's Everfall. Wait, what? That's Everfall, right? Everfall Hamlet. I don't know what Hamlet means. Uh, I mean, Monarch's Bluffs Hamlet. Does that does that mean this is Monarch's Bluffs? Is that I thought that was the region name. Oh well, that's a oh that that region's Everfall. I'm so confused. Because it found at the constable's desk in Everfall. I have not been to Everfall. Like, at all. I didn't go there last night, that's for sure. Uh, zoom, what am I doing? God damn it. Go away. Um. Because, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I, I think the furthest, maybe I, I opened that yesterday? I'm not sure. I, I had a bit of a wander, like, maybe in this region? Like, that, that was about as far as I went. Like, I, I didn't 
do anything much last night. Whereas I would have had to travel all that way. And I, yeah, I haven't... Uh, I'm confused. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's a bug or something. Like, I don't understand what's happened. Because I, I have another one, obviously. Um, well, let's check what that is, actually. See where that comes from. Tales of First Light. Found on the road into First Light. I'm not sure where that is, either. Albert, I won't be returning to the settlement, and I suspect everyone will be relieved. My own mother, most of all. But you know that in the decades since we arrived on these cursed shores, my burden has been... I... My own mother, most of all. But you know that in the decades since we arrived on these accursed shores, my burden has been by far the worst to hers. It's damned unnatural for a child to watch a parent remain young as they grow old. Why I'm one of the handful of the accursed to continue aging, I'll never comprehend. I tried to accept mother's use, but after she became constable, it was impossible. Watching her take command with such vigor has only hastened my decay. Even today, I listened as she, she and artificer, artificer Kim made plans for some bright future. I don't realize how stupid they sound. Whether we grow old here or not, whether we suffer or thrive, none of us will get the peace of eternal slumber. And without, and without the promise of death, I simply do not see the point in pretending that we are living. I thank you for your friendship, Albert, but I must now turn my back on first light and embrace the darkness, whatever that may bring. Okay. Interesting. So I guess some people here do age then? That, yeah, that would certainly be strange. But what the hell is first light? Is that another place? Yeah, first light down here. Like, what? I haven't been there. How, how have I got these documents? I mean, hey, I didn't mind reading them. It's interesting. I, I just don't understand how I have them. Uh, okay. And, oh, right, I, did, I think, um, oh, right, so one thing, I, when I was going through my notes earlier, I actually had to remake those notes because my computer went fucky overnight and I had to restart and I hadn't saved the note I'd made. I'd just been sitting it there. Um, and one thing I remembered, I forgot, actually, I did hit level 10 when I was gathering. But I did gather a few things, just very little. Um, yeah. Uh, also, apparently, we have achievements. Only play solo. What? Okay. That, mm, okay, those are very weird titles. Sure, why not? Those are very strange titles. Um, what? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Go away, please. Points, right. You know what? Just, that's fine. Very good. Um, right, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, where are we at here? Zoom, please. Yeah, I'm really confused about why I have them documents. I mean, like I said, I, I guess it doesn't matter. Because, uh, yeah, yesterday I was specifically avoiding picking them up, but also those ones clearly don't sound like they're from here, so... I'm not sure on that. Ah, uh, yeah, storage locker. I just want to quickly show for reference where we're at with that. As like I said, I, I put a few things away. Um, I chopped a few things, mined a few things. Said, you can see there's not a there's not a ton going on here. But just uh, so you're up to date. Did we just... Where'd that come from? Uh, I don't actually know where we got that. That's fine. <laughs> um, what else was there? Oh, yes, map. Right, we have uh, territory points. That was the other thing I forgot to put in. Let's see what we got. Um, earn 5%, so... Okay. Decrease fasting fee 5%. Increase gathering speed by 5%. Earn 5% more standing. Hmm. I think we want gathering speed. And although, yeah, I guess I'm, I'm more doing this in general because... Um, wait, what are the percentages? Oh, is that my current percent? Or... I don't know. Oh, no, I guess it's just the number. Okay, that's fine. Um, wait, trading tax rate decreased by... Wait, that, that decreased by nearly 10%? That's, uh, that's a lot. I'll take it. Sure. Um, oh, wait. Is that sort of buffing it up? Because now it's... It's not giving me another 9.3. It's going up to 9.3, or...? I'm not sure, but I do want more gathering speed. I was like, yeah, this is more of a if I would thing, because obviously if the, this is getting wiped, it doesn't mean as much. We don't really get to utilize it, but... Uh, and it looks like we have a... 
Oh, PvP enabled apparently. Okay, that's what that does. All right, very cool. Oh, flag PvP. While well, flag PvP, you can take other flag PvP play. Uh, something about a five percent bonus, I think. So I guess you get five percent more XP. Um, also, am I? Let's turn that off. I don't think we really need that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really curious how it's going to play out between them. And which I guess, so, I guess the Syndicate controls Brightwood. And, oh, it looks like, so Marauders, oh, they must control Windswood and Everfall. Covenant, Monarch's Bluff. Okay, interesting. I wonder if these are start zones. Well, no, they, I guess they, they wouldn't all be. Kind of hard to say which are start zones. I don't think we can really tell very well. Hmm. Alright, uh, anyway, what are we doing? Uh, right, explore Abadir's anger and loot and spoils you find. What level is that quest? That's a level 8 quest. I guess we'll do a couple more then switch over to this. Which, uh, oh, we can't be on the map. Oh, actually, I don't know if, do we, yeah, I hadn't thought about that. Is this level 12 requirement or recommended level 12? Hmm. Okay. Uh, search for an old man along the river in Monarch's Bluff. Where would that actually be? Because, I mean, Monarch's Bluff is <laughs> this whole area. But it doesn't seem to be marked on the map. Maybe we do need to hit level 12 first. I, I was taking that as a recommendation level, not a requirement level. Also, I'm just realizing, didn't we unlock something? Yeah, bag slot. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I, uh... Okay. Oh, is that... Maybe that's what we got that for. Maybe that that's, uh... Maybe we can make... I don't remember if we, if we looted that or got it from a quest, but... Maybe we can make a bag. Uh... I think that's down this way. Or at least the refining is. I don't know. I assume we can probably make a bag. I mean, even, even if not from that, uh, I assume we can get one in general. Uh, that does not look like what we want. I mean, it might be at this thing. I'm pretty sure it, it is just as refining though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, got a weave or something here. Is that, is that what we want? Possibly. Linen. Okay. That is also refining. What do I actually need here? Outfitting. Maybe. Oh, is that coarse leather bag? That's probably the one, eh? And that gives plus 100 to encumbrance. I assume that means it gives 100 to weight. Which is not bad, actually. Uh, oh, okay. So we, we already have the coarse leather, but we need linen. Need iron. Need that. Or is that... Oh, no, that's... What? What, what is that? I don't know, I don't know, okay. Add special resource. Crafting item attunement to the Tanner's Burden perk. Okay, interesting, don't really know what that means. All right, maybe we won't worry about a bag for right now, but good to know. We are 200, yeah, so I guess, um, there's probably better bag, so. I wonder what the max you can actually get this up to is. I'm curious to see. All right, well, uh, I guess we're heading that away. Of which, how, like, I guess we have to go from, like, that, pro we have to go, like, along, wouldn't we? Since you can't, well, you can't swim in a traditional sense. Hmm, alright. Well, I don't know, um, no, that's all good. I was thinking of something, but I don't know what it was. Yes, alright. Well, I, I think that I'm going to heat up my cup of coffee and have a bit of a stretch. And then we can continue on. Because I have, uh, my god, I rambled so much for the first hour. I think I'm close to an hour and a half already, but my god, that, that first hour. Oof. Definitely need some coffee. Alright, well, we can head out this way. I will be back in one second. Man, YouTube sucks. <laughs> yeah, I just had to return to say that, apparently. I checked the, um, the qualities, and still, we're, we're getting, like, a couple of hours away from 24 hours since I uploaded the video, and it is still... 360p only like uh it's frustrating it really is i mean i get it 
small channel, YouTube doesn't have a reason to prioritize me in terms of resources, but you really are fighting this strange uphill battle as a small channel when, in general, it's obviously hard to do that. You're, you're, you're competing against mammoth channels usually. It's a, it can be a slow drive to make progress, and that's fine. But it's you sort of get thrown off that playing field a bit when they can, like a large channel can upload a two-hour video and basically by the time it's ready to go live, it, it 1080p will be available. I do an, an hour and 50 minute video, hour and 47 I think it is. Here we go, 24 hours nearly later. Only 360p. Like, it's, it makes it really difficult, especially if you're talking about a new release game because how many people are going to click on that video, see 360p, and then just move away from it, you know? And especially smaller channels, they're probably, oh, I'll just check for the next one. They, you know, they're not going to think twice about me. That's totally understandable. Um, but yes, it does make things a little awkward. Sorry, we'll get going here. I'm just fiddling with a couple things while I'm talking about that. Um, yeah, it, it just makes for an awkward situation like that because it's like no matter how much time, effort, or anything I put in, if it's a new game, there's basically no way that I'm actually able to get my content up Oh wow, that was oh that was pillar of fire. I don't think we'd use that. Um, but yeah, there's no way I can get my content up at the same time as a bigger channel, and it's that's a real awkward one to contend with because it's like you already fight with that channel, you know. I, I have to compete with these big channels, and it's that's totally normal and just you know part of how it goes. But when they have that advantage of being able to get content up faster, regardless of you know the factors of what time we individually have, and regardless of internet speeds, regardless of rendering speeds, regardless of all that. It comes down to the YouTube processing side, and that's that's a real bitch. Um, so, like for example, obviously you can say, well, you don't put the video up until it's actually 1080p, and that way you don't have at least people walking away from 360p, and that is usually the thing that I do. Um, but it doesn't usually take this long for one. Uh, I think it might be because of what this is that it's taking so much longer. Most of the games I've played in recent months are not at this graphic level or anything like that, so. It is possible the processing just takes longer, but that doesn't change the result for myself. Because I said, that was under two hours. I was planning on going longer. Um, I've already uploaded fully the next video, which is, that actually is like uh, almost just three hours long. So I was planning to already have that live. I was planning to put that live a couple of hours ago. But at this point, I'm gonna be waiting probably most of the night and hope that 1080p shows. Um, Cause that was the thing I was about to say. Um, am I going the right way? Yes. Um, I was going to wait on 1080p originally, uh, as I normally do, and I'd set it for, I think I allowed, hmm, I'm not sure how many hours it was actually, it might have been six to eight hours I think I allowed for, um, after the upload before it was actually going to go live, and I thought that would be sort of, that would be decent, and um, I, did, I missed the window um, to actually check and reschedule it if it hadn't hit that. And so I'd missed that by like 12 minutes and it had gone live. So I, I didn't really want to reverse it. That would have been kind of weird. But I figured, you know, it's all right. How many people are going to watch within the first few hours? Um, you know, so, you know, worst case, you know, it's a few hours. Maybe a couple people miss it. Maybe a couple people come back. But, you know, not, not a huge big deal or anything here. And sorry, I'm just fiddling with it at my desk again. Um, I'll be one second. Um, but, you know, I still figured, no big deal. A couple of hours, you know, it's already been this long. But no all night slept now going through today here and still still only 360p available and it sucks because uh, and uh, sorry i don't mean to just be bitching this whole time uh but if you're curious and if you're not i apologize skip ahead <laughs> it's all like an offer because i ramble sometimes aye, aye, aye. um but yeah it, it does kind of suck in that sense of i'm a small channel so every viewer i certainly appreciate you know and and purely talking well, in both the sense of a community sense, anyone is potentially someone who's can be a regular viewer who comments, interacts, and I love that. But even if you're going a bit more analytical and talking pure numbers, right? Just to be real about it, every viewer is a potential subscriber. Every new viewer is a potential subscriber. It's a potential for genuine gains to your channel, so to speak. Sorry about that, had to do a small little cut there. Um, but as I was saying, um, and keep walking, don't want to stop. Um, God damn it, what was I saying? <laughs> aye, aye, aye what happens when I lose my train of thought. Oh, right, so yes, I had to get my uh, train of thought back there. God damn it. Um, yeah, right, so even if you're being sort of purely analytical and shit, and you say, like, every new viewer is a potential subscriber. Well, when you have a channel 
that mine, uh, at the time of speaking, I have 133 subscribers. So if I got if I did a new video and it pulls 20 views total, and they're all new potentially, or even say 18 of them, only two people are subscribed or something. Because I mean, this is not my usual content to be fair. But it's just throwing that as an example, which I would hopefully get a few more. But anyway, as an example, um, and just to make yeah, going the right way. And this looks great, doesn't it? It's really awesome. Actually, let's let's see what's in that. I, I meant to do that. I want to see if this is actually like a... This is just an enemy area or... Because it actually looks really nice. A windmill. Um, you're saying, even if you do that, so say I, that's 18 people. 20 views is not like good views by most people's standards. I'm more than happy with that on a new video, but... It's like that. there's potentially 18 people, potential subscribers. Well, what if 17 of them found me when the, within the first 24 hours? And it's 360p. And they don't even give me a shot, they just roll their eyes and go to the next video. And that's completely understandable. That's that's the normal reaction, I think, to... I think especially to anyone who's viewing on a desktop, the normal reaction to 360p is to just move on, you know? Even if you're like... I think most people, when they see that, they, they know that it just means processing. That means, you know, this person probably didn't actually upload at 360p. Oh my god, <laughs> sorry, um, my, my brain and actions are not very connected right now are they um it's like yeah most people would know oh, okay that means processing um well actually I, I looked at it but i didn't sort of look properly is this just nothing else around here okay so I, I know i looked at it like but i didn't really like take it in it was like i was doing it but without actually taking it in yeah, let's pop over there too before we head that way um but yes right so yeah, like you say 17 people walk away and again uh, so my train was skipping a bit all over the place here. Um, yeah, it's like so. Seven of those eighteen could find me, walk away. Totally understandable because that's it's what people do. Even if you understand that, yeah. Oh, I've just come a bit early. It's still processing. Well, if you want to watch something now, you want to check out New World gameplay, for example. There's others. You know, you're not going to go. Oh, I guess I'll just wait uh, on this person I've never seen before. I don't know if they're interesting or anything about them. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to wait and just keep checking back. No, you, you're just going to hit back, go to the next one. That's Totally understandable. And yes, this does look like it's been taken over a bit. What are they, uh... Red Gill Scavenger. Reed Gill. Interesting. Okay, let's go check out the windmill, actually, too, before we head uh, to the quest way. Uh, but yes, you can see how it's just, um... It, it's just a pitfall. <laughs> I, I took way too long to explain all of that, didn't I? But you can see how, like... It's understandable, that's the thing of it. It's... Oh, whoa, that was a... What is that? There's some... Some things are bending there or something. Oh, that's trippy. What is going on there? Look, the texture's not... Oh, that's weird. Um, but yeah, it's like, so it's an understandable thing. Like, I don't blame anyone for walking away at 360p. Especially on desktop. I think it's just a natural reaction. But yeah, so it's like, even if I didn't make that mistake, um, setting it live early, I still, I end up, you know, 24 hours later, this is a new closed beta thing, people are pushing out content, like, and I end up 24 hours behind what I otherwise would have, so, it, yeah, it, it's a difficult battle. I mean, I don't mind in the end, like, I'm just doing my thing, but it's hard not to be aware of things like that, and very cool, very cool. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm really loving some of the landscapes, I've got to say. Hmm, very good. And also, if you hear anything, if you hear any, like, well, child sounds, yeah, my, my niece is in a couple of rooms away, so... And she, her, well, her loudness is not consistent. That's, her volume is not consistent, I should say. She might be watching Netflix and then suddenly there is some sort of yelling or something or other. I mean, I have a directional microphone, so it shouldn't be a problem, but... I could also hear her being intermittently loud enough that it might pop up, so <laughs> just uh, just in case. But that aside, let's actually go the correct direction now. Um, yeah, re really cool that some of this looking, isn't it? Alright, we'll, we'll leave you to your business. We'll uh, head to where we're supposed to actually go. Honestly, I'd like this. This could be a cool little village, isn't it? Like, I, I actually would like to see this as a real village in the game. I feel like this is, because it's such a, yeah, like, it'd be really cool actually having some real villages like this in the game. Because, like, uh, whatever that place is called that I'm forgetting now, 
it's a lot more like it's very closed in i guess you, you can't see a lot whereas this is like really spread out and yeah it's really cool oh holy shit you're fast okay i'm gonna just slap you with some fire bye boom oh okay nice got stuck in the sand a bit there but yeah, uh, again, if you've made it this far, I thank you very much, because seriously, this has been, like, this has just been a very, very rambly episode, hasn't it? And the YouTube stuff's completely, you know, nothing to do with this, so, probably not of interest to a lot of people, but maybe you're curious, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let me know. But for now, let us continue on. Really enjoying these views, though, like, I don't know if that's, like, a, um... Like, I don't know if it's purposefully like that, like that, um, what do you call that? Like, I would put that, that, I don't know what it, what that is, it's like that, uh, slight fog over it, I can't, I don't know what the hell to call it, but I, I don't know if that's just the way it looks, or if that's an intentional thing, like it's a softening, almost, is that what it is, like, it sort of softens it, so that, even though the textures have probably been lowered and stuff, it doesn't look so much like it. I don't know, but definitely this, this is this is where this game shines to me. Um, Cause see, like here on the beach here, clearly things are not looking as good as they should. But it does look good from here. Like unless you're really focusing, generally that just it looks good from here. It, and the comparison being Black Desert over here, this this would look like shit. Um, you would probably see no plants on the ground. You'd see trees that barely look like trees, and it, it just it just yeah. So. Being able to see over there in the distance like that, it, I'm, yeah, big win to me. Really big win. Uh, where about are we anyway? Man, we're, we're taking a while to get this here, aren't we? I should have kept a, uh, kept a more straight course, but if, if the rambling goes too bad, then my brain disconnects and muscle memory kicks in and then I forget what I'm doing. Uh, that seems to be roughly what happens. Muscle memory can only move forward. It can't access what to do. Maybe some coffee will help. Alright, what do we got to read here? Supply stockpile. This is just loot. Ooh, fire staff of zealot. Interesting. Oh, pirate gunslinger coat. Okay. And is this better? No, but it's... Sounds cool. This is better. Ooh, awesome. I guess this is actually... I'd seen people wearing some pirate stuff. Awesome. See, this, this outfit here, this is a good example. I was mentioning about how this really didn't seem that special. And it, like, you look at that, and you look at this. I feel like they're on par, you know? Like, maybe not, you know, exactly, but I just mean, I feel like this is a really cool, it's got the tattered, it's like, you know, it's cool, like, I like it. And so when I look at this, it's, it just, again, it feels like something I would find here. Like, if this was a, you know, up in the mountains or something and it was you know a different type of people like it feels like that is what i would find like so I, I guess even though i had a lot of ne more negative things to say about the store i do hope if they're going the way of cosmetics they they at least do some fun with it like, like they put some actual real effort into making some cool stuff you know i mean i do like you know i don't necessarily want them to go crazy i do like immersion but i feel like they can do better than this and it's only, I don't like this, it's just, it just doesn't feel in any way special. I, I, I couldn't imagine spending money on that, you know. The axe, probably even more so. I mean, it looks so generic. It, it has a few little fancy things, like, it, it, it's, you know, it's nothing special at all. But anyway, let's have a read of this. The sea is against us. This letter is faded with age. Frederico's letters. Oh, wow, okay, there might be a lot of these. The expedition suffers. At first, the lack of wind proved difficult. Now the storm strikes us. We seem to circle sections of the ocean, always at Isabel's insistence, but it is almost as if the navigation provided by the heretic is meant to cost us time, our food supplies, and our faith. Our supplies run low, and tempers among the crew have risen. I suspect the crew would blame Isabella were it not her bouts of sickness, not from the voyage, but the fewer that seems to strike when the winds become calm. Father Dante is taken to caring for her during these times. When the storm bests us, she is on deck with an authority and command that puts the crew to task. The men fear her, and just when it seems treason might overshadow these thoughts, her presence quells their doubts. It is a strange sort of command. She uses not facts, but conviction to cow those around her. Even I fear her. 
I have not mentioned my journal, nor the letters I brought home from the chronicling, chronicling our voyage. I have a strange feeling that Isabella would not be pleased with them. F. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Alright, I don't know if, uh, because that, that's letter 11. Interesting. Wait, how many? Oh, wow, 18 letters. Alright, that's kind of cool. I gotta say, these things I'm actually liking. I, I actually am liking the journal stuff. It, it's, um, it's feeling a lot more meaty than the quest content, you know, in terms of understanding the world and people and stuff. Oop, hello. Oh, I'm sure they're fine. Alright, moving on. What else we got here? Supply crate? Ooh, can we get a hat? Uh, no, but we got some prayer bees. And Azoth oil. Oh, are we... Wait. Oh, we're, are we still already in the quest area? I wasn't actually paying attention to what we were doing. Oh, 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 okay. I somehow mixed things up. I thought we were going to talk to someone. I might, I don't know, I don't know, I might have looked at the quest too, thinking that we're doing... I don't really know what I did. But I thought we actually had to go to here to talk to someone, but... Uh... We probably have to get something from the ship though anyway, so... Yeah. I assume the alchemy catalyst... So we can probably kill these for the... And find the loot here, but... We probably need the catalyst actually from the ship then. That makes sense. Oh, damn. A little bit of a smack. All right, we better um, eat up some rations too. I keep forgetting about those. All right, very good. Uh, swashbuckler coat. Ooh, okay. Was there? Oh, there is loot. Okay. It wasn't shining. Did I miss any other loot? I might have. Uh, oh, we got some gloves. Okay, interesting. Was there loot here? Probably not. Blasty. Very good. Ooh, nice. No? Alright, let's, uh, what do, we, what do we get there? Is this better? Uh, yes. Both tier 2. Pirate Gunslinger, Swashbuckler Coat. Uh, both look pretty cool. I think I prefer the other one. Hmm. Okay. Which, yeah, I, I feel like, yeah, th these don't look bad, honestly, which... I feel like just the more things I'm seeing, the more this feels less and less special. Like, I, I don't get this. Like, what? Who? Like, what? Who? I don't know. It just doesn't... I don't get it. Especially when it does seem like they're doing the whole FOMO thing, trying to make people get the limited stuff, when they just... They're so boring. Like, I mean, I feel like at least you want some cool particle effects or something of this. I don't know. Like, something. But, you know. Get what we get. <laughs> I mean, to be fair... Uh, we could look for the positive, the idea that they're going to be doing cosmetics that actually aren't that special and it won't be heavily pushed, and maybe the FOMO stuff will actually not be a big deal. That would be the best case scenario. On the other hand, I, I'm, I have to be realistic, like, I don't expect this to be a friggin' charity. I know that they have to make money and this is a business. So, that's I think that's why I'm concerned about them going further, because I don't know... I don't know if Amazon is the type of company that's going to accept just you know, very optional things. So, I don't know how that's actually going to play out. Um, I guess it's, it's really, it's going to depend on really about who's running it um, and what that person's directive is. Because I could see it going two ways. I could see it being rather typical and unfortunate and that they're really just going to milk this as much as they can and really do the bare minimum to keep people involved, not pushing the boundary too far, slowly creeping it up. You know, all that shit that most of us hate. Um, I could see them either doing that or I could see them being, if the right people are in charge, I, I could see some fortunate being like, you know, look, this is a, basically, I mean, there's a, Amazon Games hasn't done so well so far. Crucible was a disaster. For them, I mean, I, I thought it was actually kind of, like, cool. I liked the idea of it and stuff. It just obviously was released way, way, way too early. Um, but I could see, if the, with the right people in charge, you could potentially get the attitude, like, alright, we didn't do so well with some of these things, some of these projects aren't going so well, 
we don't want to fuck this up. We want people to talk about this positively. Even if it doesn't earn as much money as it possibly could, having people talk about it positively and it's sort of being seen as a positive thing, like, I, I, I could see them going for that. Like, that, that would be, I think, a smart business play for them. Because, I mean, people may use Amazon and love the service they offer, but most people don't like Amazon, you know? Most people don't think of Amazon as a company doing great things. I mean, they, I mean they've certainly got, like, it's not like it's all negative, obviously, I'm not saying that, but I, I think most people don't have a generally good favor as the idea of Amazon actually as a company and the way they probably treat workers. And I don't think a lot of people like Jeff Bezos. And I mean, a lot of people just make fun of him, but I don't really get the impression it's on the side of with him. I feel like they're laughing more at him. I don't know, maybe that's just my impression of things. Um, but yeah, it's like, so with the right people in charge, I could see them going for more of a, you know, make what we can, but try and make this more of a, just a positive thing in the world associated with Amazon. You know, even if it's not the biggest it could possibly be in terms of, yeah, the revenue, but that when people talk about it, they talk about it positively, that they, that they tell their friends about. Like, if Amazon, I think, can play it on the more PR side, in, in a more of a long run situation, we, we could have a really good MMO. We really could. I just think Amazon's more likely to go the other way. Whereas I think they could genuinely, like not just for what I like, I think they would really do well as a company to go the other way. To go for just the route of this being a positive thing. That people, be positive. The people don't, you know, I mean, you, you talk to the average person who's played Black Desert for a few years, like, and they'll probably tell you not to play it. That's the thing. Even if they're still playing it, they'll probably tell you, or, or they'll at least, you know, give you a lot of reasons that maybe you don't want to. I mean, there's plenty, obviously, recommend it. And there's certain ways that I would obviously recommend it. But there, there's a lot of people who are like, ah, you probably don't. You probably don't want to get into this. It may look amazing. The combat may be really fun. There may be lots of awesome things. But you, you probably don't actually want to get into this, you know? So... I don't know, I really hope it goes the other way, because, um, I think there's enough here that shows its potential. You know, things like more NPCs and things, it's not the most common update you would see with MMOs, but it, that can come, like, the feedback from the beta, uh, I guess the hope would be that the feedback from the beta actually leads to changes over the next, say, six months. They're not going to fix everything, they're not going to add a whole bunch of things in a month, but maybe if there's enough feedback on certain things, they'll change their plans over the next six months to reflect more of that and to liven some things up and smooth out some of the movement, you know. Because, um, like, the jump's really weird, for example. <laughs> I know I've mentioned it before. It's, just, it's strange. I don't know why it's ended up like that, like, all the way in here. That seems like something that would have been adjusted previously from feedback. It's it's so janky. Like, like it's, it's so janky. It's so strange. I don't know. Oh, also, I'm just like completely ignoring the moves that we have, Q and R, which I really should. Oh wow, okay, that's how that works. Oh shit, look at that. Holy crap. I made things harder on myself then, didn't I? Can I blast you from up here? Ah, uh, that's awesome. Oh, and it keeps going. How long? Oh, nice. That's cool. But then this thing just this this is awesome. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, combat, I'm liking what I'm seeing more and more. But the mage combat especially, anyway. Uh, and I should probably loot things. Yeah, so, I don't know. Lots of positives. Good handful of things to be concerned about. But I think if the monetization isn't scummy, and, you know, they have enough people who are working on this and actually trying to make it better, we, we could have a really awesome MMO. I, I really do think that. Especially a few, a few years in, you know. Which I'm, you know, I would love to follow that journey. It just, it's the monetization that's going to tell me whether or not I actually want to do that. Uh, is there a normal way out of this, or do we just climb and hope it functions correctly? Okay, you meant to go so it probably does. Okay. Uh, oh, right, so let's do that. Oh, shit. Uh, boom. Is that going to work? Ah, that went pretty well. Then R. Ah. Oh, yeah, that's a lot bigger, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, gotta li I like that. That's pretty good. That's a good attack. I like that. Yeah. I'm glad I went fire mage now. Loot. What else do we need? Oh, we're actually done. Okay. 
which means uh, probably just do a recall, right? Yeah. Very good. Well, I think we're like probably a lot more than I realize into this recording and have done very little, but hopefully you're sticking with me, or at least someone is. <laughs> hopefully someone's listening. Well, even if you're not, I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying rambling to myself here. Totally normal stuff. I'm, I'm totally normal. <laughs> okay, I'm not normal, but no, there's not much I can say on that. I have never been normal. Hey, hey, hey. What is this? Oh, interesting. You can gather up. Oh, really? Huh. Interesting. Oh, wait, is that because of... I was thinking, is that because of that specific thing? Or is that because of them controlling? Alright, interesting. Oh, you have a fancy looking weapon. Hmm, okay. Don't know what exactly that was up with that. Look cool. Also, what's this? I sort of ignored this. Oh, fast. Okay, is that what that is? Didn't realize. Oh man, that blue makes my eyes feel funny. It's like that adjusting thing when you look at certain. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Don't mind me. Uh, where are we at here? Because I'm, I'm, I'm so scattered. Uh, yes, right over this way. That's it. Down the cliff. I remember. Uh, anything else on here? I haven't looked at that in a minute. Oh my. Yes, there is. Apparently. Uh, I guess all of this filled in when I joined the syndicate, probably. Acquire and deliver 500 green wood. Interesting. Um. That, that, um, XP wise, these do seem interesting, actually. Because, I mean, we still, do we still have that open? Oh, is that one not, maybe they changed then? Because, yeah, the town upkeep, right? Yeah. So I guess it's this one now instead of what it was. But, yeah, that, um, hide one, that was crazy XP, wasn't it? Because when we did it, our level shot up all the way, like, through the rest of what it was and over half into the next one. I think that was, like, 2600, wasn't it? That, that seems like one that would probably be worth, uh, yeah. Um, I'm trying to, like, there's a few things like that. I'm trying to try to keep it in my head for, like, when the release is. Um, because I think even if I don't play it much, I want to I get a good go on the release, you know? I want to really delve in. Um, like, you know, I'll be there waiting for it to launch, try and get my name, um, you know, rush through, try and get some money, start buying up hides. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it like I play MMOs, which... I tend to do very odd things and make a lot of money. <laughs> that's, that's generally my way of playing MMOs. I usually do very odd specific things that some people would do, but most people wouldn't do. And I don't mean that in like a, well, I don't mean that like I'm so smart way. I just mean that like I dig into very odd specific things. <laughs> I don't know. And which in this case, well, it's not that odd in this case, but um, I'll probably be going absolutely crazy on the hide when it starts, like just, I'll get as much money as I can, not buy anything, try and find a way to get some gold and just buy basically every hide under a certain price and I'll keep doing that for all the money I can get um, and I'll just, yeah I mean obviously there's some things I don't know yet um, such as doo -doo -doo -doo. I, I don't know how this works, like for example if at some point um, making you know, coarse leather is not going to get me much XP or no XP, I should say. That would be the concerning one. So that would obviously shift plans, but I'll probably be doing that, um, trying to resell some things. I don't know. I'll have to look at the market a little more, but there's usually, at the start of MMOs, there's usually a few items that are worth buying as many as you can of. Um, and, and not all MMOs it applies for, but it can definitely be the lowest tier mats because I mentioned it just briefly last, but it is a very common thing that happens where people, the like, of a game's lifespan... Um, at the very beginning of it, more people will be gathering the lowest tier stuff at any one time than will ever happen again in the game. Um, because there's so many low tier things that people just never will gather again at some point. After they've played for a bit, they'll never do it again. They'll always buy it. So this, the supply at the beginning, at least is in terms of how much is coming in, will be higher than it will ever be again. Um, but it'll also probably be lower, you know, because people don't have much gold. They just want to get any bit they can. They don't care about these resources. Most people care about leveling. So they'll just throw anything they can onto the market to try and get a bit more. And especially if the game actually pulls you around to do some of those things and you, you don't feel like you need them, even if you might need them soon, people will still be selling them more than ever. So if you can take advantage of the other side of that and buy them up, you know, you may not pay it off within a few days, 
but you give it a few weeks and you 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 pay it off like at, at what scale that depends um to me, it's not necessarily about like, oh, this is going to make me rich. It's more about I'm in, in the span of, say, a few months worth of playing it, potentially, I will have gained a lot of like, say, leather. Is it leather working? Just to be correct here. Yeah. So it's like the, the idea basically that I will have spent as little as humanly possible to get as much leather working XP, something that you could just not get that XP for the price that I do at the start, say three months in or something, you know? So it's, 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 yeah, it's really about spending as little as possible for maximum results as early as possible. But also there, there can be the potential for actually making some money and uh, getting a bit of a, um, a cycle going where you build up your money. I don't know, we'll see how it is. There's a lot I'm going to have to look at, but I, I tend to play like that with MMO, just sort of finding very specific things that you can repeat a lot of and scale up and things like that. Um, yeah, I, I mean, the market stuff's, uh, that was sort of like in, in RuneScape and World of Warcraft, I basically made all my money from the market. Like that was, that was pretty much all I did. And hell, even actually in Black Desert, I, I've made a fair bit off the market actually. And sorry, I don't know why I haven't talked to this person yet. Because uh, Black Desert is very different, but if you, if you understand the market and uh, watch your things, you can buy up a lot of things in advance. And when they go up, you, you know, but you need like a lot of, you, you need a good amount of billions to even start doing that at any type of scale. Like, I think my... I don't know what my net worth in Black Desert is. It's probably, like... It's probably... Probably upwards, like, 400 billion, maybe? Something like that. Could be getting towards half a trillion. Oh, I mean, wait, that's not... Uh, that, no, that, that is way too big a number I just said then. No, I mean, it could be getting towards, um... Wait, is that... Is that a trillion? Is a thousand million a trillion? Probably. God damn it, I know numbers. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think I have around like 500. It could, well, I'd say because it it's fluctuated and I haven't looked as much lately and like part of now, it's probably anywhere from like 350 to 500 billion. Um, I think I have about 50 billion in cash at the moment. Uh, anyway, <laughs> if you're interested in Black Desert, you probably care. Otherwise, like, why, why are you telling me this? Which, fair question. Let's talk. I have to applaud Aberdeer's stockpile of alchemic goods. We alchemists are known for hoarding various chemicals. We can make good use of the catalyst, but this Azoth oil leads to so many questions. What does this thing to get interested in? Why are we here? Why does Azoth grant us such feats? And what makes this island immortal? Your skills and intellect belong with the Syndicate. I welcome you into our ranks. Sure, thanks buddy. Commitment to the cause. I humbly greet you, truth seeker. Um, why did you give me this die? What die. Oh, that syndicate die. Why you can use that to turn your boots purple. Oh, fantastic. Oh, okay, faction board. Interesting. Okay. Probably not going to worry about any of this for the beta. Hmm. Uh, let's have a look at this though. Oh, I guess that's, um, interesting. Yeah, I've been, I've been seeing people wearing that. I was wondering about that. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. I like this. I like that you can buy, like, faction-specific specific things. Uh, looks like you need tokens, which I guess you get from the missions. Makes sense. Question. Yeah, we do. Oh, syndicate. Yeah, we have a staff here. That's cool. I would like me a purple staff. Definitely can get behind a purple staff. Hell yeah. Oh, and there's okay. Oh, all right, all right. I yeah, I like this. This is uh, this looks good. Hmm. All right. Um. Okay. Is there any simple way we can earn these? Like, do we just do we like just have to do these? Like, I guess. Uh, which what is it? unspeakable horrors that could compromise Syndicate are unfolding at Reed Gill Fishery. Destroy every withered necessary without exception. Go quickly and retrieve each heretic puzzle box before anyone else is aware. Hunt the Devil's Quarry area for churro sheep that roam. Okay, so they're even pretty simple enough, like not nothing too bad. Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure how much like th that's actually something I was um. God damn it! I'm gonna start rambling again. I'll keep it short. Um. Oh, I guess we have to do it anyway. I All right, let's grab a couple. Truth seeker. Um. Let's go them two. Good. Uh, I might as well just grab them all, I suppose, while we're here. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. All the PvE. Where's the closest one that's going to send us to? 
Uh, ooh, you're way away. Alright, let's head that way, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, I was just going to say, um, I'm not sure how much I want to play of the beta. That's one thing I've been a little stuck on here. I don't know, like... Oh, that was, I don't. I think that was another thing I forgot to... I don't remember if I mentioned it or not. I think it was one of the things I learned in between. Yeah, I didn't know what the max level was, which is apparently 60. Yeah, I don't think I'd mention that. Uh, that was one thing I didn't really know, but I... Yeah, no, it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because as I said um, before, I, I lost my notes that I'd actually made, because I knew it, there was a bunch of things. I knew I'd forget some. I thought I'd covered them all, but apparently not. So yes, the max level is 60, something I did not know. Um, but I also... I don't know what level you can get to in the beta. I don't know. If, I assume it might be limited, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so I don't know how much I want to actually play because it does feel like a lot of this is going to be a situation that's repeating. Like, um, you know, my first experience playing it non-beta is going to be pretty similar. So I think for the most part, I want to treat the beta more as like the definitive test if I want to give it a real shot. And I think so far I do want to give it a shot. Um, I'm probably just going to, you know, I'll have to look. Can we loot? Yeah. All right, why not? Uh, I'll have to look into if there's been more talked about on the monetization front, because it's not something I've actually actively looked into myself. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll have to actually have a proper look at that, so... But yeah, I, I think, so... I don't know, we'll do this part, and then I'll, I'll see. I don't know, because I want to keep playing it. There's that part of me that just wants to keep playing and do a bunch of shit. But I, there's also that part of me that knows that the more I play, I'm probably not going to want to... Well, it's, no, I'll still want to play, obviously. But it'll diminish that sort of really wanting to dive in. Because it's like, the more I do, the more I'm going to be repeating sort of thing. So, I might do, say, this part, however long this is going to be. And then one more long playthrough. Like, to do one more long session tomorrow. And maybe that'll do me. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll wait and see if I get feedback on this. If anyone's interested in watching, because it's kind of hard to judge due to the YouTube situation right now. But if anyone's watching, I'll keep playing. Because that, that does make it more fun for me, so... Yeah, but um, let me know what you think too, if, you, if you've happened to make it this far. Do you have any interest in watching me play the main game? Um, what do you think of these last few hours? Is this format okay? Like what's, you know, minus, minus me rambling so much. Uh, I'm still like, that's still like an area where I'm learning in terms of um, doing things in game while like actually having an active thought, not just commenting on things. Because if I'm just commenting on things, I'm pretty comfortable. But even like, you know, however many months into YouTube I am now, it's still hard to actually sort of be thinking actively and sort of trying to convey something whilst doing what I'm supposed to be doing in game. You know, that's sort of where I have the split. Commenting, fine. Actually thinking, harder. <laughs> but yes. Uh, oh, all right, we're gonna kill these, do we? Fair enough. Uh, wait, is it these or just... Uh, I assume. I think, I don't know if these are withered or... I assume they're all withered, but... I don't know if it's a specific type or not. Does that count? Yes, it does. Okay. But yeah, so... I don't know. I, it's hard. I guess I'll... Uh, maybe between this and the next part, what I'll actually do is look up a couple things. Such as how far you can actually go in the beta. Because it would still be good to learn a few different things and actually... You know, there might be actually more that I want to see that I haven't yet. Um, before the full release and such. Because it is more of a gap than I thought, you know. Um, like this, this goes into the second, but, so, yeah, well, it's, what is it today, 24th or something? So, yeah, we, we literally have over a month still until release at this point, which, yeah, I, it's unfortunate. I kind of wish they did do, like, the beta chaining onto the end. That would have been cool, but, you know, obviously they do actually need time to fix things if there's things to fix, so, you know, you know they do so much in a month, but I'm sure that they'll, um, I mean, I, I assume this closed beta more than anything is about server stability, about the moderation stuff, uh, game breaking bugs, you know, all that kind of stuff, not the smaller things. Yep, yeah, thank you. All right, what do we got? Four more of them, five chests. Okay. Which, are they just, I guess, around the place or? Uh, oh, is that something we could loot? Oh, it is. Okay. Th these ones are a little awkward because they don't have any sort of shininess to them. Which, okay, that was actually one of them. I thought that was not a quest one. Oh, that's, yeah. I mean, the shining stuff isn't exactly what you would call immersive. Oh my. What the fuck? That wasn't good. Eat up. 
What the hell was that? I just got absolutely hammered, didn't I? Didn't do that too. Good. Okay. Wow, yeah, I got absolutely hammered off that. Yeah, that was not good. Anyway. Um, just saying, yeah, it's not the... What? Oh, is that underneath? Oh, that's that's kind of... Okay. Interesting. Um, so yeah, it's sort of not immersive seeing shiny things on things, but if they're quest related, they normally do have something to be able to tell. Oh shit. Do that. Uh, what? Uh, goodbye. What, what is happening? Wait, what? What the hell? Uh, interesting pathing, buddy. Was that? Oh, that was so strange. That was quite some pathing. Uh, where was that? No, got the loot? Okay. That was, yeah, that was really strange. Alright, can we, oh, we can actually walk while this is held up, alright. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Okay, that didn't actually go as well as I was hoping, but... Oh, that disease, not cool, buddy. Alright, we're already diseased, so... Fine. Somewhat. There we go. Oh, level 11, very nice. Oh, we got a couple of things there. Is there anything we should be equipping? Yeah, I skipped over those, didn't I? Uh, that's fine. Well, this, yeah. Oh, mm, yeah, no, I probably want the armor. It's fine. Uh, oh, boots. Those I completely forgot to equip when we actually got them. That was last part, I think. Yep. Yeah, good. And that's not as good, is it? Not good. We nice to unlock that. Uh, oh yeah, we didn't get a bag either, do we? Should all oh, right. I should have checked the uh, market. They probably they may not even cost much. Who knows? And a boom, boom. Ah, almost. We uh, actually do we have any? Okay, we leveled up. I should, I should add the points because I keep skipping over actually doing that. Uh, good. And loot, loot. Yes. Oop! You're throwing diseases at me. What are you gonna do, buddy? That uh, did not hit you, apparently. That's fine. We'll work with that. Please don't believe me. Not cool. Ah, almost. There we go. Oh, hello. How you doing, bud? No disease? Very nice. Why am I not fire pillaring you? Ooh, very nice. That worked out very well. Uh, yes, let's put these points in, as I was trying to say. Uh, is this lootable? No. You know what, let's, let's just move a... Move away here for a second. Wait, what? What is that? Why did I just do a... Uh... What, what, what is happening? Am I overburdened or something? Is that what's happening? No? I'm, I'm trying to roll. Like a... I'm, I'm just pressing to do a combat roll. Uh, okay. I don't, I don't know why it's doing that. I don't think I've seen that before. How strange. Sorry about that. Alright, uh, what do we got left here? One puzzle box. Alright, very good. Uh, how you doing, bud? Ooh. Ooh, I do really like that. Well, does it only do, like, one lot of damage? Does it seem like they've got double hit over there or something? It's not too, too clear on what actually happened there. Alright. One more box. Where are you at? Uh, up oh, there, flint underneath. That's so weird. I feel like that's a, again, it's such a little thing. But it's a bit sloppy, no? Because it's sort of like they built the beach and they just plopped this on top and didn't, you know? And again, it's it's tiny. But I feel like there's there's MMOs where you just, you just never find something quite like that. You know? There's just a certain, you know, there's a certain level of polish, a certain level of care, you know? That said, not a huge deal. Nothing that's gonna break anything or cause any problems. So, we'll see. I mean, I think, um, the first six months is really gonna be the big test for this as an MMO going forward. Seeing how they handle content, bug fixes, you know, what are we gonna be getting in terms of sizable content? Like, I don't know if they're planning to do expansions. 
because that's tends to be the way it goes with the or at least in not all cases but it's at least more likely with them going the buy to play model but then again if their focus is far more on the store for monetization then you know that might be less likely we'll see I mean, I think one good thing at least is seeing this, which is suggests that there is actually plans um, at a bare minimum to expand the world itself. Which, which again, that is pretty standard over time for MMOs, but it's still good to actually see it, you know? And they are there. Is that the... Uh, Alright, good. There we go. Oop, two attribute points. That I completely forgot to put in before. And you know what? Our health keeps getting knocked down, so I'm just, I'm just going to throw a couple on. It's the beta. We can respec anyway. It's fine. And that leaves us all good. Uh, they're both... Is that Devil's Quarry? That's that one. Still not sure where that is. Oh, interesting. Complete missions from the faction board, then report to the local magistrate. Oh, okay, I guess that's... Yeah, well, assuming... I'm, I'm going to assume that these... Well, hmm... Yeah, I, I say, I, I'm still not sure if these are recommended or a requirement, because I guess it could still be a requirement. Like, you can accept, you can get a quest, but you can't do the content of it until you hit the level, or... Because I assume, like... Well, complete quests to help the settlement force be... That, actually, what, what quests are they even meaning? Because I assume that's not this now. I guess we'll see when we hit level 12, won't we, where, where, how it actually works. It's not like we need to rush to it, I'm just, I'm curious about the mechanical side of things. Anyway, let's, oh, or not. Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess we cannot do that. We will walk back then. Or run. Uh, I guess we can just go through the water, can't we? Since we can just walk. Strangely. What happens to them? Do they stay at full speed? Uh, yeah, apparently they don't get slowed down. Interesting. Uh, right, we're running again, because I didn't get that deep. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious about the breath stuff. I hope, uh, yeah. Because, I mean, like, you wouldn't be able to walk across somewhere like that, but if you can upgrade it, you would be able to. And even though there's not swimming, which is so damn strange, the fact that there's a breath, I assume, means maybe... I don't know, maybe they really just don't intend you to win the water. But they added a breath, because it'd be weird if you could just, you know, it's, it's like... It's less weird to walk under the water with a breath than it would be if they just didn't allow you in the water or something, or that you could breathe indefinitely, so... It sort of feels like they did the bare minimum to deal with water, which is a really weird way to go about something when you've done a map that seems to actually have a surprising amount of, like, lakes and water and, like, stuff that would actually be really cool, you know? So, not being able to swim and explore them, it just seems like a real, wi uh, a real missed opportunity, frankly. I think especially when I see places like that, uh, this one, these like really big sort of, you know, being able to swim around and explore underneath and stuff, that just seems like, you know, big missed opportunity there. Then again, I suppose if you have people going underwater in actually exploring it, you have to sort of develop underwater more. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm, I, I hate to assume that way, but I, I do really feel like there is an element of this game where um, like a game director was sort of given a, you have to do X by X and this, you know, and they're like, all right, I'm going to have to cut out X, X and X or something like, you know, it's like we, we want to do underwater, but no, if we want to get it happening, and if we wanted to, you know, we're just going to have to cut underwater content, you know, like that, that wouldn't surprise me if having happened. Um, cause there's, yeah, things like the NPCs being around the place. Um, yeah, there's just a few areas that actually do feel a little bit more like that when you, you look at it. I don't like to assume that way because I feel like it's it's not a good sign. It, it, it can mean that there's people at the very top who are not actually considering reality and what time it takes to do things. They're just all about, this is the deadline, this is what needs to happen, we want to make this much, you know? So, yeah, we'll see how it all plays out. There's just there's many unanswered questions. But here we are, back home. Not that we actually have a home, which that is definitely something I'm curious about, owning houses. Is that that's very I like that. That could be fun. Also curious about the is there like hmm. Is there like a big city symbol anywhere? I think there were like is that. That's the outpost though. 
Like, I'm curious if all of these are going to be similar. Wait, what is ha what the hell does Hamlet mean? These are all called Hamlet. So I guess Hamlet refer... I, I've, I've heard that word, but I honestly don't know what Hamlet means off the top of my head. I, I assume it is a word similar to town, but I, I honestly don't know. Um, but it seems like they're all listed like that, right? So I don't know if we actually have any big, you know, larger settlements or anything, or if it really is more just this sort of sparsely small settlement type of island, like... Uh, I don't know, like, is, is, I guess, is there no, like, government sort of thing here? Like, I'm, I'm really not sure about the whole, like, like, who's running this place, you know? Like, what are the politics of it all, and, or is it really just more of a Wild West type of deal with the three factions sort of just holding power, or, yeah. Not too sure on that. Thank you, but I'll decline. I'll be making my own company if I'm going that way. Uh, who do we need to talk to? Because I'm, I'm just like not paying attention. I should. Is it back to? Do we go to this board or him? I humbly greet you, truth seeker. Open faction board. Uh, we. Where do we hand in? Do we just click? Oh, okay. Oh, you get XP as well. Six eighteen. Six eighteen. All right, nice. Um, and I guess that just. All right, we can just get more of them if we want them. Okay, cool, cool. Um, I mean, they seem pretty reasonable, actually, don't they? Like, the prices. Like, these weapons, you'd only be doing... Well, these ones give you a 235, 150. Yeah, I mean, for the amount of time that took us and stuff, I, I feel like this is very reasonable to be able to buy, like, a bunch of stuff if you want to. Prices aren't too high or anything. I mean, I assume this sort of scales up. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, ooh. Ooh, hello. Oh, that is awesome. I'm already glad I chose the Syndicate. Hell yeah. Awesome. Very cool. I, I want me that, yeah. Even though, yeah, some other cool stuff. What is that? Kind of crazy looking. Yeah, got, got some uh, pretty cool uh, clothing and stuff here. I, I really like this, though. I, I like this um, whole setup here of having faction gear and the quests and stuff. It's good. I like it. Hmm. Of which, uh... Oh, I guess we still have to do more, don't we? Because the actual thing was to get the reputation right. Um, okay. Wait, we have two of them now? Or? Uh... Oh, wait, no. Syndicate... Oh, no. I was looking at... Yeah, so I guess we... I still don't know about this yet, but it's fine. It's sort of... It's the same as this, actually, isn't it? Except for the Syndicate. Like, complete missions on the faction board, then report... Complete quest to help the settlement, that, you know, it's sort of like... So I don't know if you just, like, they're, they're both meant to be in that way, like, they're lead-up things, that like you do other things before you hit that level, then you do the quest, or... Ah, again, we're not far off level 12, so we'll figure it out. Um... As for this, I assume... What's our reputation at? I humbly greet you, I wasn't paying attention seeker. to how much we actually got from that... 240. Okay, so we probably just have to finish that one quest we had. Um... Well, we'll just go and do that, I guess. May as well just do the one we have in progress. How far away is it? Ah, uh, we haven't been over that way, so yeah, let's head that way. I was going to say we could just grab that other drowned one and do that, because it's closer, but we may as well go somewhere we haven't been. Of which, between this and... I do actually get... Um... Oh yeah, so 460 from this. Presumably we'll get like... So we might get like another thousand there. Yeah, we, we shouldn't be too far off getting a, a level. Um, hope, I'd like to hit level 12 in this park. I think it's, it's a simple little thing, but... Am I going... Oh, wait. Um, it's a simple thing, but it will... Hitting level 12 will directly confirm how that works. Because if it suddenly pops up here that it's on the map, that'll sort of confirm that, yes, you can get quests, but you can't actually do that till you hit the level. It's not just a recommended thing. Because I, I think recommended level like that, that's usually the way it most go, not an actual requirement when you can actually get the quest so but it is leaning towards more that it is a requirement since you can't see on the map where that guy is or at least that's how I'm interpreting it which although there is this part first so I, I don't know if there's actually quests that we haven't completed because this this is a rather generic sounding thing help the settlement prepare defend against corruption then search for an old man yeah so 
that doesn't really tell what you're actually meant to do, does it? I mean, it could be the settlement quest, but like th this is sort of that same thing. Like these are open things, but it tells you you need 300 reputation. It's actually clear. So I said either way, when we hit level 12, it'll confirm. So all good. Mm, looking good out here, isn't it? I, I I think they did a really good job with the lighting. I think that's definitely yeah. Uh, all right, let's let's take the let's take the path. Let's go up and around. Uh, it might be a little bit of a trek, but it's probably the a better option, eh? And are we back to being able to? Okay, what is going on with that? For some reason, wait, is that a, no? It's not a jump. Hmm. Yeah, it's. I don't know if it's the clothing. I, I don't know, but we can't seem to combat roll anymore, or at least it's not doing one. I'm just pressing left shift like normal, and I'm not, I haven't done anything. I don't know if it's. Uh, wait, that's not. <laughs> I'm looking at those that as as if that's what's equipped. Not quite. Um, I don't know if some like if something's stopping us. Like if it's I don't know. Uh, but also, this is definitely better. Very good. Yes, that's fine. Uh, oh, I didn't realize we got pirate gunslinger pants. All right. Very nice. Looking good. Still not sure about the lack of combat roll, but it looks really weird, right? I mean, I'm sure it's something obvious. Like it's because we are have a certain weight, or um, when you are carrying too much in your inventory, you cannot dodge, run, or sprint. Yeah, I mean that's no, because that doesn't apply right now. Could it be this? We. Oh, it is. I, 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 hmm. I don't know why I thought that might be the case, but we put this one on. Yeah, it's the same again. Interesting. But then this one we can, right? No? Okay. Well, I was obviously combat rolling in this before. Uh. Okay, still no. Drop back all to our old stuff. Uh, no, no, thank you. I'm sorry. I just really want to figure this out. Okay, now got. Okay, still works. If I put those on, then it doesn't. Oh, it's, what did it just say? Equip load is now light. Equip load is now normal. Ah, there it is then. Okay. So it is weight related then. Oh, equip load. I completely missed this here. While wearing light armor, your dodge is a quick roll that covers a lot of distance. You deal 20% bonus damage. While wearing medium weight armor, your dodge is a quick hop. You deal 10% damage. Ah, okay. Actually, yeah. Uh, while wearing medium armor, your dodge is a quick hop. You deal 10% bonus damage and crowd control debuffs you apply last 10% longer. While wearing heavy armor, your dodge is now a slow sidestep. Your block stability is increased by 15% and crowd control debuffs you apply last 20% longer. Encumbered, you are carrying too much in your inventory. While encumbered, it doesn't matter what your equip load is. You cannot sprint or dodge and lose more stamina while blocking. You should remove some items from your bag. Okay, yeah, I don't know why that person tried to trade me. If they're going to give me something... Uh, Sorry to them. I just, I, I wanted to figure that out and it's, I didn't know what the hell that was. I was just sort of, yeah. Anyway. Um, get back to, oh, da, 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 da. what I'm pressing here. Yeah, so that's uh, interesting. I did actually see something. I, I was looking on the, the subreddit and I saw some post about that actually. Nothing to do with that, but, but about medium armor. So I didn't realize what the impact was. I think it was something along the lines of like, you can wear like, three pieces of medium, and if the rest is light, you'll still be in the light load. It was, it was something like that. Um, which we may want to... I, I guess it doesn't really matter for us. We haven't been using it that much. Um, like, well, what are we right now? So that's... Oh, heavy. So heavy probably doesn't help, does it? Mm, it's fine. We'll just go with the best stuff for now, anyway. We learned how it worked. That is what's important. Very good. All right. Uh, Alright, continuing on. 
And yeah, it's um, it's interesting seeing some of the stuff around here because it does seem like there's a fair bit of stuff going on around here that's been just taken over. You know, like that little uh, village we were just at here. You know, so, like there's equipment and yeah, it's, it seems like a lot has actually been taken over. So, hmm. Like how cool, like see, there's some really cool stuff here, I've got to say. Going upwards, right? Yeah, can't really, couldn't really tell from this, but yeah, we are going up apparently. We don't actually have a camp, do we? Should we throw one down? They seem to just reset uh, when you log out, which is, I don't know, I guess it makes sense. Uh, oh, we didn't, oops. How many wood? All right. Grab some real quick here. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it does. I don't know, I feel like it, yeah. I don't know if it gets more costly when you have the higher tier ones though or something, like, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's fine. I, I guess my only uh, thought is like, you know, hopefully there's some window. Like if you get, if you have DC issues and stuff like that, you sort of wouldn't want to, yeah. I don't know, it's probably no big deal. I'm just <laughs> picking at things I don't need to here. And the reason I'm grabbing this is because I don't know what it is other than it's a weird looking mushroom. <laughs> so that's, that's fine. Okay, plate cap, fresh mushrooms, all right. And continuing on. Yeah, how cool does that look? What level are you? Can I see? Level 7. Okay. Interesting. So I don't know if there's any, like, um, corrupted ones that are in control of themselves. Like, they, they all seem pretty, like, mindless so far. But I, I assume there has to be more to it than that. I don't know. I don't know if there's, that's going to be a thing or the, you know, it's the intelligent uh, enemies are more just going to be other players sort of thing. Yeah, I'm curious to see though, because they do have that like image um, where it's got like the the mask guy in the middle, and on either side there's like green grass and uh, people fighting, and then there's like the red corrupt side, and that that seemed a bit more like actual enemies. Like, so I don't know if there are some humans who have been like, you know, impacted by it, but have sort of uh, embraced it or not, um, not have uh, not succumbed to it or whatever. Like, they've actually been able to sort of control it or something. Holy shit. That was an attack. Let's blast. Is that gonna help? Sort of. That's not great. This is better. Man, that, that's uh... Yeah, don't want to be fighting too many wolves right now, I think. Though I will loot since that's uh... Yeah. Anyway. Man, it really looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I, whatever they do to make it work... Black Desert should be employing this stuff because... You can see it looks like softer, but it's like it doesn't look bad though. Yeah, I, I really like the way they've handled this so far. I mean, it can't say everywhere. Like, obviously those trees don't look as good. But they still, like, it's still been handled better than Black Desert that I can feel so far. And it looks like I'm getting a bit off course here. Uh, oh, sheep, right. I wasn't actually... This is the, I need to pay attention to what I'm actually uh, looking for rather than just uh, heading to the map place. That would be the thing to do. And I'm pretty sure I just took someone's kill. I don't know. I saw a bullet whiz past. Uh, how many do we need? Three. Okay. Uh, seems like other people might be actually trying to get them as well. So maybe I did steal a kill. Very nice. I'll take it. Uh, I don't know. Do we, do we want to stand and wait like they are? Is that the way to go? It could be like the turkey and there's not many of them. No, would be better. Oh, I missed one. That was a turkey. Not quite. I mean, the actual locate. Oh, no, we're, we're past the location now. Yeah, it might be like the turkey. Because it, it also died in one hit. Uh, no, maybe we got lucky on that. What is this, though? Life moth. Oh, okay. Purple? I, looks fancy. Okay, interesting. Oh, epic. Alright, maybe that actually is somewhat rare or... Alright. Seems like they are waiting up there for sheep spawns. Uh... There'd have to be more... I mean... Wouldn't just be the one, would it? No, oh, there's more people moving over there, I guess. Yeah, check the area a little better, I guess. Where are you at, sheepy? Hmm. 
I mean, do we just wait? <laughs> we only need three. That guy is obviously sitting up there waiting for the spawn too. Um. Hmm. Hello. I'm not seeing any others. Kind of annoying having to compete with this guy. I feel like there must be more than one around though, come on. Be a little bit... Doesn't sort of give you an actual area, does it? Um, the respawn time seems a little slow. Uh, no one's wandered down here. Is there really only one? <laughs> That seems a little strange. Hello. They might be also waiting on a spawn. Oh, I don't want to deal with you. Fine. Oh crap, I just ate something. Didn't even mean to. Uh, oh crap, what the fuck? Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. That's why I'm... Oh, damn it. Didn't mean to hit two then. Oh, my food's off as well. That's That's not helpful. Yeah, these guys are actually pretty tough. <laughs> Very good. Uh, yes, okay. I'm gonna just move away to the road now. Any sheep? Oh, crap. Is that coming at me? I don't want to deal with that. Need to eat. That was not... Can I heal them with these? Hmm. No? Guess not. Right, back to... F oh, turkey, hello. I don't need you, but... Okay, random. Hmm, alright. <laughs> I'm not really sure why the turkey was there, but I'll take it. Any, uh, sheep around? Hmm. Not great spawns. I mean, this, this is, like... It just seems a little strange to have, like, one, like... Oh, did they just get one? They might have. Do we seriously have to wait around for a sheep? I mean, there's not a big area to look in, is there? And this area seems relatively safe, like, there's no actual wolves in this bit. Uh... Hello? Cheap? Maybe? Are those things weak as well? Those things, I mean deers. Is there really no other sheep around? Off in the distance? Hmm. I don't like the idea of just sitting and waiting for the spawn. Probably what we'll be doing though. Is that person still there? They are. Means they're still waiting. Hmm. I don't know. It, it just it just feels wrong that there'd only be one. You know, like it just involves a lot of waiting and people sitting around. Like that's not a really smart way to set that up. Uh, what the hell is that? Oh. What am I being hit by? No, nothing. Am I being... Am I, are they just like fucking with me? Is that what I'm dealing with? Or is that just doing that? Oh, it's just shock bulb. Okay, I thought that person was like shooting at me or something, but I'm not flagged. So was, okay, don't mind me. That's fine. Uh, Alright, I can see why this guy is sitting up here. Does seem to be the good vantage point. Hmm. So maybe there's like one or two that spawn. Oh, there's one. Okay, maybe there's a couple that spawn. Yeah, th this seems to be the vantage point, doesn't it? Cheapy. Where you at? Turkey Terminator. Interesting title. Hmm. 
Okay, right, so if you like flag, can you just immediately start killing, I guess? Hmm. Um. Yeah, I feel like I do not have the advantage here. I mean, I literally need two. Two sheep kills, that's it. They seem to spawn in this area. Seem like they did. Maybe we go over this way. I mean, they could also spawn in a, you know, a whole area, so. Th this looks like a pretty good vantage spot. Yeah, I think we can work with this. Hmm. Uh, still competing, though. Kind of awkward. Uh, do, 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 do. Well. I don't know. I guess we just wait. Yeah, they, these are definitely not what you would call fast respawn times. Wow. I've been just standing here for like a couple minutes now. Like, I know that's not a long time, but when there's only a couple of them, I mean... I mean, there's either one or two, it seemed like. I, I think two. I think there's one each got killed there by them. He's, they, they're still just waiting, so I don't know if this person's farming or if they have the quest. They may have just literally got here before me and they have one to go. But all I can do is stand here and hope to get the shot off. Oop, I see a turkey. Oop, did I get it? Oh crap, did I get it? No. Alright, this doesn't bode well for me actually being at a hit from a distance, does it? Oh my god, he's shooting me. Did I not hit from here? Is my aim terrible? Uh. Oh wow, I can't, can I not hit from here? Okay, now I understand why people will use the musket. Yeah. Okay. Wait, actually. Wait, that person up there didn't even skin the last one. So why did they kill it? Wait, is that a sheep? Is that a sheep? I just swore I just saw a sheep up there. Hmm. Sheep, sheep, sheep. No? Hmm. Did that person go away? No, they're running back. No, that's a different person, I think. But yeah, I just realized that person shot from up there before, but they didn't actually come and loot it, so... And you do actually need to skin them. It's part of the quest. Uh, could be a different quest, to be fair. Hmm, okay, yeah. So I guess that there is definitely a distance factor with this staff. That is good to know, actually. And it seems like they're staying, or well, someone's up there anyway. Maybe the bow would be better for this. Stand at more of a distance. Uh, uh, oh, oh shit, did I see something move? No, just grass? Oh god damn it. Uh, I do not have the, uh, I don't have the patience for this. But I do want to complete the quest. I don't know the best spot to stand because of the range. Ideally they spawn right just next to me. Oh. What? Oh, sheepy. Hello. Yes. Haha. -ha. That's what you get for not being up close. And number two, bitch. I got it. Wait, is he gonna get it? Wait, how does that work? I better be able to skin it. Oh, you motherfucker. Alright, you went off it. Maybe you're not. Thank you. Okay, because I don't know if you can actually just straight steal or... Alright, I'm out of here, guys. I will leave you to it. Uh, Alright, he was a nice guy. I'm sorry for calling you a motherfucker. Very good. Now we can hop back. Which, it is free, right? I wasn't paying attention though. Is it that maybe the recall's free, but then if you wanna, yeah, I guess that's how it goes. Oh, encumbrance costs 40, what? Interesting, although I'm not encumbered, am I? Like, not at all. 
I guess I am, but I'm not. Hmm. Uh, eight minutes, really. Okay. Uh, you know what? My coffee is cold. <laughs> so you know what? I'm just gonna, we'll, we'll, we'll go stand up on here. Have a look at the view. And then I'll coffee and I don't know, do something rather than five minutes. I, I figure we may as well just use the recall. But I do want to have a nice look at the view here, which is very nice. Yeah, I, I will say, like, it's not... Like, seeing it like this, you do see the degradation in quality. And I do wish that was slightly more... I Like, I, I wish it was slightly less degraded, what I'm seeing. But it does still seem like they've stepped above Black Desert somehow. Um, like, that doesn't look great. Like, I would like to actually see some foliage from this distance, so... I think it's, um, maybe in this game it's sort of, um, it's not so much that they've stepped so far ahead of Black Desert with that kind of stuff, as more that the world is designed in such a way that it doesn't come up as often. Unless you go up to something like this and you're looking outwards, you know, most of the places you're walking about, the variable terrain, the, um, I mean the variable in the, uh, the height of the terrain and all that stuff and just moving around and... There's a lot of things obfusc obfuscating your view and stuff, so maybe it just all looks better. But then again, I, I do feel like most of the distant things I've looked at actually look good. Like, I like what I'm seeing of the town, like, right there. Like, this, that town looks totally fine, and looks better than some of over there. But then a lot of the trees too do look fine. I, I think, um, yeah, it, it's sort of a mixed bag, isn't it? Like, I, I think this is probably one of the worst examples, and this is not terrible by any means. Um, you know, it doesn't look quite look like that, but, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm, just, I'm still forming my opinions, you know. All, all, a lot of what I'm, I'm saying, with, with exceptions, should always be taken with a grain of salt when it's like this, because, you know, it's all rambled off first impressions, slowly forming over time, you know. I mean, it's all what I'm feeling and such, but there's a difference between an opinion just coming off the cuff and, you know, what I'm thinking as opposed to sitting down and you know, weighing it up and breaking down how realistic certain things are and, you know, all that kind of shit that you can do if actually trying to give a objective opinion or something, whatever. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling as usual, so <laughs> uh, I'm going to go heat my coffee up. All right, well, hello, someone just creeping past me. Millie Boop, how you doing, buddy? Uh, what are we doing? I know what we're doing. We are checking the cooldown, of which is... Oh, good. I didn't think I'd actually taken that long. Very nice. You, you, what is with this pose, by the way? I was like, I wasn't sure about that yesterday. It's kind of strange. Probably not the strangest thing, but it's fine. It's, it's very A, the network, actually. Like, the, the blue, like... Yeah. Anyway. Hello. Here we are. And... Hello, person. Uh, okay. You were bold a second ago, buddy. Uh, where are we going anyway? Board, right. I do not need to mark that, but well, what is the actual way to get to that, by the way? The ground level. Is it literally around here? It is, isn't it? Okay. Because <laughs> I've, I've been... Okay, don't mind me. I, I know how directions work. It's fine. How you doing, bud? I humbly greet you, truth seeker. Thank you. Boom. Daily mission bonus reward. What was the reward? All missions. Oh, so they just. Okay, so they've changed throughout the day. Okay, that's cool. Uh, that's quest done, too, right? I don't know what the bonus was, but. Uh, wait, what? Why is that. Oh, I'll... okay, that's fine. <laughs> I was like, why is it telling me to complete more missions? Oh, it's that one. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I don't know what the bonus was just then. Did I. Did I get an item? Uh, can't tell, because apparently I have a lot of crap on me. Where do I keep piling these up from? <laughs> a lot of weapons I've gained. Okay, that's fine. Uh, they can probably just go in here for now, since they're weighing us down. I've got plenty of weight in there anyway. I'm sure they can mostly be sold or something, but... We don't need them right now. The die? Uh, not sure what I'll do with that. Yeah, we, we have a whole lot of shit on us, don't we? I mean, even, uh, yeah, even a lot of these we don't actually need. 
keep that on me because no reason. Wow, yeah, we've picked up a whole bunch of crap, eh? I mean, not literal crap necessarily, but a lot of things. Cheese bait, delicious. Cooking will keep on us because, again, no reason for right now. I'm just making the decision. How you doing over here, bud? I'm talk to you in a minute, mainly because of me getting distracted by things. But how you doing, Bixie? Ah, I was wondering when you'd stop by and say hello again. I hear good things about the work you and your new allies have been doing. Keep it up. I'd say it's mostly me, but thank you. Tribal loyalty charm. Monarch's Bluffs is a special place. A place where anyone can feel safe and welcome, regardless of where they came from or even what kind of person they are. Okay. Well, sure. I mean, there's three factions and, you know, there's monsters all around and, you know, there seems to be people turning into monsters and... But, you know, sure. It's civilized at least, yes. Yes, you understand. That's why we have to protect this settlement, whatever it takes. We've had a bit of a misunderstanding with the settlement in Windsward. But we need to look after ourselves first. What happened, buddy? There's a brooch, an heirloom of sorts. We, we, we had agreed to give it to them as a gesture of goodwill, but the courier carrying the brooch was waylaid by the withered. And the brooch was lost. Well, someone should go find it, buddy. Exactly! Oh, I hoped you'd volunteer. Oi. The courier took the north road. So, check the withered at the Mines de Miclos. Go and reclaim it, but then bring it back here. It's a finder's keeper situation at that point. Oh, you just said it. I find, I keep. Very good. We understand each other. Also, just a thought here. It seems like you really don't get a lot of um, XP on the quests compared to what you can do. Like, even this here, this syndicate quest, level 20, 1200 XP. This thing we just got, 320, 690, 960, those are the ones, like, they're more than all of these, basically. But also, the one we did, the hide one, wasn't it, was it like 1600 or 2600? It was, it was some huge amount, though, like, way more than we're getting for these, so... I don't know if there's a reason for that, like, because it seems like if you were someone who does just care about leveling, which is definitely a lot of people, like, they like to rush to the end, it seems like you'd be better off completely skipping all of these and just just repeatedly farming all the the town stuff although i don't know for certain you can do that infinitely like if it's a certain amount of things but we did the three yesterday and we could do more so i, I don't know but yeah because if it's not limited and you just keep doing them it seems like you'd be far better off just farming out a lot of specific ones of those like most of them don't seem that difficult they you know hmm. i don't know i mean i, I want to keep doing the quests obviously but just uh yeah, I had sort of noticed that. And this person is looking very nice. Very nice. Very nice outfit and beard. <laughs> uh, where does that leave us then? We are not quite level 12, so still not like that. Uh, this is only level 7, so... I guess that makes sense. Uh, which, where is that? Oh, okay, where we actually were. Of course it is. Uh, but, for now, uh, I think we're going to have to leave it here, because when I went to heat my coffee, I did not realise it's as late as it is, which... Yeah, it's 4pm 4, 4 apparently. This, this was not correct the first day, quite, like, but I think it was off by an hour, but yes, it is correct now. Also, just while I'm here, because I know I'll forget, I'm going to turn off the FPS. Uh, visuals is what I actually meant. I think we've seen enough of that. It's been up, it's been up enough, I think. Uh, but yeah, I didn't realize how late it actually was, and I'm going out for dinner uh, in like an hour and a half, no, no, like two hours, something like that. I don't know what time, <laughs> I should confirm that. But yes, going out, family stuff, so yeah, I'm probably going to have to leave it here. I should uh, finish my coffee and shower and some things. But yeah, it's been good. I just, uh, I was sort of expecting to play for like a bit longer here. I, I really didn't realize uh, how late it got in the day, so... Yeah, if you made it this far, uh, I think I've said it three times now for <laughs> different um, periods, which are, yeah, I, what am I trying to say? Thank you very much for watching, again, especially if you've made it through the last couple times I said that, because this has been a very, very, very talky one. Uh, haven't made a ton of progress, but I don't know, I've been enjoying myself, so hopefully at least someone made it through to here. I, I really do appreciate it. And yeah, I guess uh, this will probably do me for today. I don't think I'll be playing again later. Um, this will probably be... I don't know how big this one will be. It's probably going to be at least a few hours, I reckon. 
And then, yeah, I'll probably do one more big part tomorrow, see where that gets me, and just, just see from there. Like, there's plenty of time left in the beta, so I don't have to rush, but I'm just not sure how much I want to push through yet. I, I think definitely more. Like, I haven't actually done a ton yet. I haven't even visited another area yet, so maybe we'll continue on a few more parts worth or something. Uh, yeah, because I, I do want to explore a bit. There's, I'm sure there's, like, for example, getting to level 20. I'm sure there's a lot between 20 and 60, so, you know. And even if there is some repeating, which I don't want to maximize, you know, the more we do, the more we can understand, the faster we can do certain things when we start again and stuff. So there is benefits to it. But yeah, just again, for the final time for this one, thank you very, very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope you're having a good day. Hope, uh, yeah, just uh, hope you're having a good day. Let me know if you have any suggestions, thoughts on anything. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.